Alright, no encoding overload. We're good, we're good. I don't see there it is. It's creative interpretation, it's not, you know. I'm not gonna get in trouble. <gasps> Guys, I got a Dragon Ball ad! Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Gosh. Hey, me too. <sighs> I didn't get the ad, because, I don't know. Yeah, why didn't you get the ad? You know, I'm gonna run a 60 second ad break right don't now. Don't you fucking get don't it. Don't start, don't do an ad break. <laughs> do an ad break during intermission. I, I didn't get an ad because I was already watching a stream before you even started your chat streaming. I don't get ads because I use ad blocker. You freaking tart. That's money that I'm not getting. <laughs> what are you going to tarts? No, I have it. I have ad tart. blocker disabled for like certain sites. Jared, Jared has to start saying tart because he's gonna get banned. Yeah, you have to start saying my type of curse words. Tart. No, I can't say that. Why'd you make the B capital and boys? Is, is that actually how it's? Is, my, is, is the B capital? I, I just I just capitalized. The B. It is on your Minecraft username. Oh, is it? <laughs> yes. Oh, the Minecraft username is obviously the. How do you host? Easily. Sl slash host my name in your chat. My own chat. Uh, Curbs, it still says that you're playing Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Well, it should not be saying that. Let me fix that real quick. Uh, D okay. Dungeons. We are playing Smash. That's why. Oh man, I'm gonna leave. Smash for this campaign win. Slash host. Alright, there we go. I should already be hosting. Recommend in extensions. I do not want that right now. Alright, there we go. It's up. It's working. It's no longer Smash. Good. This is me melding your minds together so we can. Yeah. It's me massaging your brain. Thank things. you. Oh, I need to add. Thank you for the other host. Okay. Hello, Jack Mitchell. What? Jack, Jack Mitchell. <laughs> Dude, what is a fucking vape in your background? You have like a, you have a fog behind you, even. It's for effect. <laughs> I love it. Let's do this. Is that actually what it is? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Do you have someone ripping clouds behind you? Uh, yeah. That's awesome. That's hey, how do I host? Glorious. Huh? How do I host the curbs? Um, are you on Twitch? Yeah. Go go. Uh, what what are you? Computer Twitch? Yes. Do you slash um, do you slash host uh, curbs yeah. jam. In chat. Your, profile, your, your channel, and then go to your channel and put slash host curb jam. And you'll see a little epic message. That's so now it. I fully comprehend your guys' abilities. I fully comprehend sneak attack, which is a horribly deceptive name. Just so you know. Most yeah. of the time, you're not sneaking. Most of the time, it's an it's like an advantage attack. I think it's like because someone's distracting the enemy, you can sneak attack them. It's that. It's like if someone's within five feet of that, because they're kind of a then you can sneak attack if you if you have a friend who's doing it. if you have advantage which means your friend can like bolster you up be like yeah you got this and then next turn you get advantage on your attack the rest I think thing you can do like is sneaky easy. attack i think that's a better name sneaky attack no because most of the time you're not even being that sneaky huh. kind of? it's more of like a oh they're not moving enough <laughs> that's oh my god do you not like that sound effect? I'm gonna wear a beanie. Not really. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh. Well, it's better now because I'm not like I was swallowing my saliva. Oh. Ate it really bad. Why is it gross to call out swallowing your saliva? Well, like after he said that, we all kind of just do it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> saliva is only hot when it's. Never mind. What? <laughs> 
Maybe it's... you should invest in like a like a white circular light. I feel like white light on your face might benefit. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> you look like orange. Yeah, my light's kind of yellow. I'm gonna buy a white light too. You should. Can color shift and make my light? Are we starting soon? I think we're good. This. I'm ready to start. How are you guys this week? I'm also ready to start. Alright everybody, welcome back. Uh welcome to D and D. Our weeks were good. Uh just wanted to catch in. I just wanted to check in with all in a curbs your wait, your camera. It, it's on Is it's it, on oh, the stream. It's on stream. Yeah, yeah just like sorry. Nathan last week. Mm -hmm. Alright, cool everybody. Hi everybody. Hi chat. How are you doing well? Uh welcome back to D D. This episode is an episode where uh I had someone go into my room and vomit at so I was cleaning till five AM. So let's see how it goes. Feeling good about it. Uh, I just wanted to start off by asking you all, what are you doing right now? What were we doing last time? We were, we were on our way to the forest. We were on our way to the forest. We just encountered the snail that Jared told to leave. <laughs> uh, that I told, told to, leave. to leave. Excuse me. Oh, no, yeah, no, we a snail. Yeah, I thought, I thought Jared used the crown or something. No, 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 no. I made the, the fucking <laughs> asshole kid. I use my freaking. Speed. I use my freaking spell slot. I believe you're talking about <laughs> yeah, that guy. So we're okay. on our way to the forest. That's basically it. All right. Just as you're on your way to the forest. Uh, yeah, you are. Okay. So you hear the horse hooves clatter, clatter. Uh, you hear them clatter and clack across the clatter and clackery floor. Clop. Um, and they clop. clop. That's the fucking word. Okay, the horses clop. <laughs> uh, you hear the horses clop on their way to the forest, and all the like, your party is enjoying themselves as you enter this like more forested and treed area, and you keep walking within. And all of a sudden, after about like thirty minutes of entering the forest, you kind of forget where you are, and all of a sudden there are trees surrounding you everywhere, lights in the sky that aren't quite normal. Uh, things aren't too off, it's just like, the sky seems a little bit more pink than average, and then a little more yellow than average. It seems like it's kind of shifting a bit, but it, it just feels like the air of this forest isn't quite average. Mm. Alright, alright. Um, going off of that, would any of you like to... So your objective going into is, if anybody remembers, find is to dragon. find where the green dragon is. Wait, we had an objective? Yeah, this entire time. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was just my day out. Well, it's kind of like your day out, but you need an objective to have a day out. You can't just be like, I'm bored, I'm gonna go... Uh... <laughs> That's what it kind of seems like. I'm bored. I want to blow some the dongos. No, let's start. <laughs> let's go blow some the dongos. Um, uh, no, you're all entering this forest in order to find an account. Mm -hmm. uh, specifically to figure out what kind of stuff is going on in the forest, because I do I believe I told you about it. Uh, not things are kind of weird. People aren't really entering it and leaving the same, or feeling the same. Things are kind of off in this forest. If you can't pick up by me saying that fifty times, they feel a little sad when leaving. They feel a little sad. <laughs> well, I imagine it's the uh, hallucinogenics. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm still so yeah, drunk, really, like, so I'm just Jared's still hungover. <laughs> Jared, you're hungover. Um, <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh, that shouldn't affect you too. Okay, well, I think in my head that it is, and that's why I'm not questioning anything or telling anyone that something's wrong. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, I'm just gonna get the roll twenty tab open just because I like to have that handy. Also, just so you I'm guys know, roll D20. my screen's very weird, so all I can see is from anything past this line. Wait, Curbs, you can't zoom You can't zoom in and scroll? It's very weird. Go to the top right. In the top right, this would be like a zoom thing? Yeah, yeah, I see it. In. Yeah. But like, I zoom out and it's like, to the left of the screen. Oh, well zoom in. Just don't zoom out. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah that, that's what it's I'm fun. doing. Yeah. Arrgh. Yeah, this is the lovely forest designed by Steven. Uh, Steven decided to take that up into his own hands. Thank you, thank you. So, as you enter the forest, uh, everything kind of stops making sense. You don't really know where to go. And all of a sudden, a knight appears in front of you. 
uh, at the night's feet, uh, clouds of air just kind of pillow out uh, across, and the knight raises his hand and goes, HALT! What are you doing Stop here? the cart. Yeah, it stops the cart. <laughs> I, I, I knock on the wood and tell, and I tell everyone, Hey, there's a knight here. You guys need to talk to him. <laughs> uh, I get up, and I look at the knight from the carriage. Wait. I'm, I'm, I'd be on the back of the carriage, right? So I just stand up and look over. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, the knight is currently in front. The knight is... What proceeds... What, his hand. Um, and you can't really tell exactly what... There's a knight... Oh, no. You cut it out. Am I cutting it out? Am I alright? Yeah, we heard something about a hand. Oh, the knight's holding up his hand in front of you, and he's gesturing towards you to stop and communicate with him. Alright. Oh, I stopped. And then I tell Noah, Hey, Noah, can you talk to this guy? See uh, what his Vin deal is? Vinny, you seem to have a high charisma. Why don't you come up here just in case we need some convincing, you know? Oh, okay. <laughs> so I, I fall off the wagon and I walk over to the knight. Um, as you stumble off the wagon, the knight seems to kind of like adjust his armor to look nice because he, he has uh is the vibe that you're kind of getting okay uh and as you approach the knight goes welcome come closer okay okay Vinny, don't get wait, closer Vinny, wait don't get closer, Vinny, don't get closer. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think we should get too close to him he looks he can probably hurt us i have no ill intent i am a knight um, can I... You're a knight of what kingdom, sir? I am a knight of what kingdom, sir? <laughs> oh, that's not good. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, you're hungover, I think. I nothing is wrong. Can uh, I make I, a I, perception I just... check? Wouldn't that be uh, for what? Like yeah. to look at him? Yeah, just make a perception check. Just see oh. if you notice anything. Okay, well, let me do that real quick. Where the, where the fuck is it? Uh, do I just roll a d20? Just click, click on perception. I clicked it for you. But yeah, so it's a d20 and then you add your perception, which is perception. No, okay, that's zero. What's your wisdom? Okay, that's zero. Uh, yeah, you rolled an eight. Uh, this looks like a knife. <laughs> Again, you realize that there is clouds that are pillowing over it, but there's nothing quite scary coming out of it. Like, I mean, it, it just looks like a knight is trying to speak to you. Uh, I think I I'm freaking Noah. Everything looks fine. <laughs> I, I, I want to see if he's. I want to see if I can tell if he's lying. Because he said he's lying. He's the the knight. Because the knight said he meant he he meant no harm to us, right? I want to see if I could tell. Uh yeah, go for it. Uh, roll a d20. Do I roll insight? Or uh, roll? Yes. Actually, uh, insight. I think. Yeah, you roll insight to see if someone's lying. And it'd be roll against insight. their deception, but if they're deceiving, I guess. Yeah. I got a 12. You got a 12. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Uh, I'm just going to roll. Is there a way to hide a roll? Um, You can just roll a dice IRL. I, I left my dice at home and I really wanted to. Here, do I will roll for you. No, you will not. I have my own dice here. Um, you, can, you, can, you can get a, a second browser app that has a dice roll. Oh, yeah. Wait, if I open up another. Tab? I don't know. Tab that has a d20 rolling? Did you see that roll, guys? No. You didn't know. Yeah, we <laughs> saw it, actually. One. Well, that was a test. <laughs> I'm going to go into a Discord chat that I have that has a dice roll. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Also, who posted the Total Drama Island bailiff? <laughs> <laughs> that was me. I love that, that picture. Sucks. Okay, um... Okay, slash roll... Thank you for posting my link to um, in my Twitch chat, Nathan. You're welcome. Fuck, it's not working. There has to be a way that I can hide a roll. I need. I, I, just... Guys, the Twitter handle at loving anus is free to use. Oh my god. <laughs> use that information wisely. I don't know what Twitter is. 
Hiding GM rolls. <laughs> slash GM rolls. Got it. Loving anus, right? Yeah. Alright, look at my app. Use your phone. Did he do it? Oh my god. Did you god. guys see that roll? No, I didn't. No. Okay. Look at my app. Um, also, at this okay. point, I, I, I call out Grumbolt, Jane. Uh, wait, sorry. What was the kid? Uh, Vel Velvet? Velvet. Velvet. Hi. Uh, Grumble, Vel. There's a guy out here. Well, you're still making a perception, an insight. Yeah, but like at this point, I would have called out because he's because he's taken a long time um, to roll against me. <laughs> you can tell that he's not quite telling the truth personally, but you don't feel like he has any ulterior you motives. You don't really understand why he's lying. You don't understand this. You just get the feeling that he's kind of not telling the truth. Okay. That things are a okay. Okay. You're just so, a little off, but. I still call out to Grimble and, and uh, Velvet. Okay, I'll come out with you. Hello. I don't remember what I sound like. I, I just... <laughs> you can sound like anything. That's the beauty of D&D. If you want to sound like, hello, you can. You'll just uh, be weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll uh, I'll stand here. You guys, you guys deal with the problem. <laughs> All right, so what seems to be the officer problem? <laughs> oh my little friend, it's very nice for you to engage me. Uh, if you just get a bit closer, I can finally tell you without your little weird friends being in the way. I, uh, Vinny, I, I'll go. I'll, I'm gonna stand right next to you the whole time. So. Okay. I. I'm also I readying an action to defend. If that's if that's a thing, I guess just be my my. I, actually, that's already I, that's a passive I have. In just you're preparing to protect. Roll initiative. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I I get closer to him with okay. Noah. Uh, please roll a d twenty. Oh fuck me! Just a general d twenty, huh? Yep, just a general. Uh, actually, we have d twenty. Uh, wait, no, wait. Yo, <laughs> that's a national nineteen, <laughs> sir. Wait, no, wait. I just realized you actually are perception. Uh, try not to. Sorry. Uh... <laughs> no, that's a nat. That's a nat nineteen right there. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, you roll on that 19. So, as you look around, you see pillows of, like, clouds flowing out of this night one more time, like, at its feet. But if you look around, you see vines kind of just stretching over. You see tree roots. You see these beautiful trees with no real etchings. It looks like this forest hasn't been touched. Or at least it's been refurbished, like an Ikea. Um, uh, like a fresh Ikea forest. Um, and you see mushrooms crowding the floors. You see in the branches, birds are flying across and chirping. You see a couple of flying squirrels just zooming past, just having a good time. Uh, because I was meant to ask for a passive perception. What's your passive perception? It's wisdom plus your plus ten. Wisdom plus ten. Yeah, so it's uh, fourteen. Is he has? Does he have a wisdom of modifier plus four? Oh no, no, Vinny's mm -hmm. ten. Yeah, I'm just ten. Oh, and that's zero. That's just that's just ten. It's it's, it's passive perception. <laughs> I'm just gonna do slash. Uh, fuck. What's the fucking command for GM roll? GM roll. <laughs> is, is that not it? Slash, slash GM roll. Uh, you seem to step right next to like a bunch of vines and everything like dirt. Currently, nothing's quite going on. Uh, as you approach closer to the night, and the night goes. Hi. It's hey. It's... Hi. <laughs> I. I'm not. He, he like whispers into your ear. He's like, I, 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 I'm not a knight. I'm just doing my job right now. What is that? Job? <laughs> I can't, I can't tell you. <laughs> okay. Anyway, anyway. I, I, I say to him, if you don't tell me, I'm going to kill you and your employer as I cast <laughs> words of terror. <laughs> okay. Um, wait, words of terror? How, how does that work? Could you explain it? If I speak to this guy for at least a minute, I can try to see paranoia in its mind, and it has to make a wisdom saving throw. Jesus Christ, man. Remember? This is the thing you said Jared could do that's really funny. Yeah, it's really funny. Didn't I thought you already did this? Oh, yeah. You... Yeah, I already used that. Bro. Cool. Um, I'm going to do a GM roll. Wow. <laughs> What's it need to be? Um, against your spell save DC? 
Um, bro, I don't know. Okay, I'll find it for you. Your spell save DC is a 14. Um, okay, so... 14. You notice two things. Uh, you notice that as you... So, as you see paranoia into its mind, it succeeds. Yes. Uh, but, so, in response, like, you, you just see paranoia into his mind, he's like, Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. I didn't... I didn't, I didn't I'm, I'm just a cl- I, 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 I. <laughs> yeah, Okay, okay, um... Uh, <laughs> Okay, is everything okay, right? I don't want to die. I don't want to. I don't have much time to live, but I, I really wanted to probe by at least a couple of more minutes. I really didn't want to die, right? I, I, I guess. What are you? What's your purpose? What do you mean? What's my purpose? Uh, I, 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 I'm, 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 I'm. I, he's kind of just stuttering over. Uh, and as he's stuttering, you can see like the clouds underneath him pillow more, uh, and as if his legs are kind of just phasing out a bit more as you're freaking him out. I back away slowly. Um, okay, roll d20. I, I, I stand oh up. my god, I have to roll a d20. Okay. Oh shit. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, as you back away, your feet kind of ensnare in one of the vines. Oh, of course. Um, is and an, immediately... Is this, is this an attack? Yes. Because if it's an attack, um, Jared gets advantage on this. Oh, no, yeah, no, no, they get disadvantage on it. Yeah. But also, I'd easily say that Jared has disadvantage because he didn't notice that there was an enemy on his feet. Oh! I feel like that's pretty comfortable. I'm walking on it. You're currently walking on the enemy. Oh. I'm going to give it a regular roll because he has both advantage and disadvantage in this situation. Okay. It kind of balances out to a just standard. Okay. So, um, so also, I... So... Uh, oh, 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 wait, I did not tell you what to roll yet. <laughs> um, you have to roll, uh, choose athletics or acrobatics, because something's, the vines underneath you are trying to grapple you. Uh, athletics higher. acrobatics, yeah, let me see, which one's higher? Uh, my acrobatics is higher, so I'm just gonna roll that. Okay. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you roll? Oh, I'm rolling eight. You got an eight. Well, the this thing still needs to roll. Natural five. Natural one. Do it. Oh, Let's get a zero. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's a nat five. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna Yo. Roll, you know, whatever it rolls, it no matter what is gonna beat you unless it's a nat one. So I'm just gonna roll on the table. Two. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so <laughs> ten health. Right as right as you step away, uh, the vines underneath you immediately constrict across your leg and climb up your thigh and into your middle abdomen and take you straight to the floor, uh, grappling you as we speak. Uh, I guess. And you, you are going to take two d six plus four bludgeoning. Oh Jesus Christ! That's like half his health. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It could Plus be. Plus four, I'm dead. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, that's seven. Ah. That's seven damage directly to your legs. Or, like, to, to you, not to your legs. Your legs aren't. Oh, you, you rolled it. Oh, thank God. If you... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, but oh, you are now geez. restrained, meaning that your speed is zero and you can't benefit any bonuses to speed. Attack rolls against the creature. Uh, again, attack rolls against you have advantage, and the creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. Your creature. You're the creature. Uh, yeah, and you have advantage on dexterity saving throws. Just I would so like to know. attempt to free him. Okay, uh, the vines are currently wrapping around his legs as Wait, you speak. Do we roll initiative yet or no? Like, what's roll the... initiative right now, actually. Okay. <laughs> Can I mind <laughs> spike the vines? You're still in the cart because you didn't get out. Oh right, it doesn't matter. <laughs> you have no idea what's happening. It doesn't matter. It's fine. I'm just gonna be in here. I'm gonna go get food. Yep. Some of the curbs. Uh, if everyone could tell me their I'm just uh, numbers in Velvet. order of greatest to lowest. I'm highest. I have a 16. I have 15. Okay. Uh, I'm, okay. I'm not in this battle. I got seven. Uh, seven. Okay. Well, I'm gonna say you're part of the. You, you rolled the five of initiative. I'm gonna say you're in the battle because you're kind of watching the shit, aren't you? Or well, are yeah, you from like, not a part of it? Have you not seen this? I'm in the carriage. I'm yeah, I'm watching. You're in the carriage. So you don't know what the hell's going on. <laughs> yeah, 
Velvet's it literally in the cave. No I'm going to put you at the end of the... Uh... It takes me two turns to get over there. Because you roll a natural one. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, it, it, that's initiative, though. That's, that, that, that doesn't matter in terms of noticing things. It's just like yeah. you last in the turn order. Okay, so... Uh... Okay. So, just pulling out my notes for what you're fighting so i can know what you're fighting uh whoop, just gonna make it bigger okay so Wait, that's right so i just want to make this bigger the so. night dude is actually a plant <laughs> <laughs> um no um <laughs> you don't need to tell us who it is we just yeah. have to know it's a plant uh well, that's a lot of hp is this too strong for you guys um so uh... <laughs> oh my god no <laughs> Uh, wow. We'll be fine. I'll save you, Jared. I'll save you. Okay. <laughs> so, I can hit it really hard now that it hit me really hard. I'm just letting you know. I believe to break out of a grapple every single turn. Oh, you're restrained. It's a, it's a grapple. Is that, is that Yoda down there? That's yeah, supposed to be like my head. That's my little like... avatar in the map. <laughs> Whose turn is it? Uh, it's my turn. Uh, Okay, when you grab, okay, wait, escaping from grapple, grapple creature can use its action to escape to do so. Much. Athletics or dexterity acrobatics check contested by your strength. Okay, yeah. so you gotta roll a, st a strength or an ac uh, or an acrobatics. Oh, that's escaping a grapple. Wait, you're already grappled. All right, I made it so he's grappled. How to become ungrappled? <laughs> But I can't move them. I have to like move the whole can you area. Tackle grapple? Your speed becomes zero, and it can't. Okay, you still attack. <laughs> Why can you move him? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that. You just can't really move at them. I'm saying. So I can't do anything. You, you, you can do speak. anything. You, you just, just can't move, and you're. Can I try to struggle and get out? I believe so. I want to figure out how to get out of a grapple. I it's should a, it's athletics or acrobatics. It's athletics or acrobatics. Well, you already grappled and you're restrained currently. Yeah, but to get out, you have to either be strong or be fast and quick and nimble. Like, be, be like you could squirm or you could be strong. Restrained right? versus grappled. Here we go. Uh, restrained. Jack Effect is held Jack. completely immobile by a greater... <laughs> Affected in this way can hinder the ability to defend. Uh, okay. Uh, restrained shows the man trapped in the web. Grapple shows, okay, okay. It is restrained right on here. Please tell me it is restrained. Uh, okay. How do you break out of a restraint? Restraint is very clear to some. Okay, uh, okay. Sorry, I need to look this up. DD 5e, how to become unrestrained. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a 6 30 second ad. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Um, sorry, grappling is really confusing apparently. Because how do you. Do, anybody know how to get out of. Read, read chat, Mr. DM. Read chat. Strength chat, check no. against DC. That's it. Thanks, Doombot. I'm sorry. We're all a bit new. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, do not play 5e. So. Uh, strength check against DC. Got it. Okay. Um, I, yeah. so, uh, Jared, your turn starts up, and you there, but uh, flowers start to plume open as if something bad's about to happen, uh, and you are stuck in a vine. What do you do? Uh, I want you to get out, please. Okay. <laughs> That's the sound I make. <laughs> yeah, uh, roll a d20. Just a d20. No uh, modifier. Oh, yeah, strength strength modifier if you want to fucking hurt yourself more yeah no, oh, no, yeah right. just a regular d20 just a regular d20 oh my fucking god <laughs> <laughs> oh wait sorry your athletics your skill athletics has a plus zero not a negative but yeah um so you struggle to get out of the vine feel though you slipped even deeper within the vine uh, and it is now wrapped around your uh your up to your chest. Your arms are still movable, but you feel as though it's about to like ca crawl over your left shoulder and kind of get your neck. You start to feel your crisp no, sense crawl. Why do you sound like? My gosh. What? What, what do I sound like? Like, what like a, 
Did, did Jared get hit by something? Jared has been getting hit by. Jared is ensnared <laughs> in a vine. Wait, no, but like, it got hit. Did he roll so bad it got hit again? Jared rolled a two. Uh, he didn't get hit. He's just still being held. Oh, okay. Uh, next to the turn order oh my is God, Steven, your friend is seems to be on the brink of death. Okay. <laughs> Am I able to <laughs> or not him, sorry, the, the vines? Uh, do you think break vines break them with like a them? dagger? You, you, I think daggers are often used to cut Well, I don't know about D&D &D rules, but you know. Yeah, okay, it's know. a vine. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's a magical vine, but it's a fucking vine. So you're attempting to use your dagger to cut it. Yeah. Um, and you... Wow! 12? Wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh! Fuck. <laughs> um, so you ready your blade, and you ash, and you try your best, but it seems that only the tip of it kind of got in, because the vine pulled back very quickly, uh, while restraining Jared. And your uh, blade just misses the vine. Just misses the vine. Shaking my head. That's a mage. Um, it is... Would you like to do anything else? Yes, actually. Let me make sure what bonuses I have. Cutting action. Blue quickly. Well, I guess I could. Maybe. Maybe. By the way, Jared, do you scream Thanks when you get hit by the vine? Like, do you scream? I, I like, he, I, I make the noise that I've been making. Nathan, Jared's been pretty good about all- Yo! Alright, okay, this is epic. We just got a freaking raid of a party of 11. Hey, everybody! <laughs> Yo! Yo, um, thank okay. you! <laughs> hey. So, just, just a just a quick reminder. Uh, Tip of something. Use two swords. What? 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 What was that, Jack? I, I just I just like to give um, I just like to give uh, Stephen a little reminder that you often use two swords. What's up? That's Hello, true. yo. Uh, we're just That's doing true. D and D. Yeah. Actually, we're supposed you to be recording and not yeah. interacting with chat, but you know. So okay, can I use a sneak attack? That's Thank not a you. bonus, right? Um. Well, it's it's a stupid vine. Burn the village uh, down. And true, but. Uh, I, I don't know if you can currently because I guess you can. We're within five feet of it. It should work. You're, oh, are you yeah, within five feet of it? <laughs> oh my god, help yeah. me! <laughs> Yo, that's awesome. I think it's... your main priority isn't to deal damage. I think it's to get the vine off. Well, I'm dying, <laughs> please. Well, thank you for the raid, everybody. I highly appreciate it. Um, hope you enjoy. Uh, we alternate D and D from everybody else. So, yeah. All right, now I'll let you hear him. Uh, so you swing your blade right into the vines, and it cuts the vine, and it lands a direct hit, uh, freeing Jared, at least Jared's everything but, like, his left ankle. Like, it's pretty much just free. The vines have let go of Jared, and he can move a bit more freely. <laughs> or not Jared, sorry. What? Vinny Bignon. Oh, yeah. Okay. The vines have released from Vinny. Uh, and, uh, would you like to roll for damage? Sure. Okay, it's, uh, that's nine piercing damage? Yes. Okay, perfect. Uh, I'm just gonna calculate that. Okay. So, next in the turn order is your best buddy, the vine! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We miss uh, you, Vine. And, uh, <laughs> Thank you, Vine. Very cool. <laughs> Thank you, Vine. Very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. We can't uh, read that. Wait, what? Jared, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't read that. Why did you post fucking Homer? Um. <laughs> All right, what okay. happens, the vine, Jack? Uh, the vine, a little bit dejected from getting itself cut by you, uh, seems to not really be phased, uh, knowing that it still wants to kill you all. Um, <laughs> and the vine is actually going to animate all of the vines in the area that's been around your feet oh, no. into 
at least semi-functional, like these ensnaring vines that you've been fighting. Uh, and as it does this, I'd like you all to make a uh, strength saving throw. Except for except for uh, Velvet, because you're not in the area. <laughs> not even there, yeah. Oh, no. Strength save? Strength save. Okay. Oh, uh, so all of the vines attempt to immediately grab you, but as it does that, all of you seem to... Uh, 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 <laughs> okay, so let's go in order. Uh, Noah, uh, as the vines slip around your leg, you immediately grab them, rip them off in half, and just throw the vines back into the forest and not even give a shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, grumbled? I keep forgetting how to say your name, I'm so sorry. <laughs> grumbled. Uh, grumbled as the vines slip around your thick goblin thighs. You take out your dagger and you cut them right off. And and Vinny, as the vines uh, slip right back onto you, PTSD, you immediately stomp the vines in panic and just barely block them from climbing up your leg. <laughs> I'd like to let you all know that uh, it seems that we creeped onto the wheelbarrow of your cart, uh, giving it a bit of a rustle. Uh, not necessarily in order to attack, but the vines are creeping. Right now it's not the most easy terrain. Uh, in fact, the ground is a difficult terrain, dare I say. Um, oh, and you are all within its like within its area. So, uh, if the terrain is difficult, restrained. is there a speed affected? Uh, slightly, yes. Uh, your speed is your speed is going to be halved because you're going to be more like wary and cautious about your action within the viney floor. Okay. Uh, but none of you are restrained currently because all of you got stupid lucky. Wait, I don't want to do something right now. Is is channel divinity a reaction? Uh, you tell me. I think it is. It should is be. It? I'm pretty sure it is. Could you read it to me? Uh, it says. Oh, fuck. Um, it's channel not. Divinity. You can use your channel divinity to rebuke those who. We use violence. Did, did you cut out? Jack, you're talking, but you cut out. Jack, get closer to your mind. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. Hello, hello. Hello. Okay, so just reading it off. Uh, so you can use your channel divinity. Yeah, it's a reaction. Oh, so that's the wrong one. Yeah, I'm gonna use I'm gonna use channel divinity to re rebuke violence. What does it do? Um, they have to make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the attacker takes radiant damage equal to the damage it just dealt. On a success. Okay. Oh wait, it didn't do any damage. Oh, then never mind. Yeah, I'm just gonna let you take that back. It attempted to deal damage, but it didn't damage. How long does this last? Is it just like how, what do you mean, how long is this? There are vines trying to kill you. Um, that's not what I was doing. <laughs> um, uh, next in the turn order, next in the turn order actually is Noah Raktani. What would you like to do? Um, first, I'm going to use. I'm sorry, um, I think I'm gonna use Shield of Faith on, um, Vinny, which mm -hmm. gives Vinny plus two AC. Uh, okay. Cast it. Oops, you just click that. on that. It, it just immediately casts. Yeah. It doesn't take a roll. Yeah, plus two AC, because I don't want Vinny to die. <laughs> okay. Uh, you cast Shield of Faith, and as you do, quite a sh The exact thing that he needed in that moment. Jack, uh, the shield of faith. Hang on. I'm gonna restart my thing. Yeah. All right. And we're back. Uh, so the shield of faith. It's not quite a shield, but more of exactly what you needed in the moment. Uh, it grass. It basically so targeting Vinny. Uh, Vinny looks down and notices that his feet are now aligned with these like spectral, like golden glowing shields across his feet. Uh, protecting him from a further attack from below uh, with plus two AC. And uh, uh, you feel God. more secure than ever because normally you feel like a uh, like a saltine cracker in a bowl of tomato soup. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Uh, Nathan, would you like to do anything else or pass the turn? Um, uh, you you said like the vines are like animated or like they're like moving around. Uh, the vines on the floor are animated by a by a main vine. A main vine? I can see the main vine. No, nah, I mean you can kind of get an idea of where the main vine is because it's near where Vinny was just attacked. But the vines are constantly moving underneath you. You just know that if you take out the vines, you take out the vines. Okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack some of the vines then. 
Okay, what with? Oh, wait, uh, d d d sorry, wait, was that spell yeah. not an action? It was a bonus action. It was a bonus action, that's a yeah. nice bonus action. And then I'm gonna use my, my shield bash, which hits, right? Or I'm not sure to... Uh, that shield bash, you fucking think it hits? It's a 22, probably hits. <laughs> 24 AC, uh, man. shield bash definitely hits. Um, so you take out your shield, and since there is no enemy right in front of you, you, like, lay it horizontally, kind of put it on top of the vines, and stomp on the shield. Oh, damn. Um, and it immediately just crushes and splats some of the vines on the floor, just... <laughs> like, you see the fibers of the vines ripping and tearing apart, snapping one by one Gosh. in that area that you hit it. Uh, and in the floor is a dirt imprint of your shield, uh, with some vines... They tried to get it back, but you immediately grab the shield back, hold it up in your arm, ready for the next attack. <laughs> okay. Uh, and you dealt six bludgeoning? Yeah, six bludgeoning. Okay. Next up, the turn order. Velvet, you hear the cart is rustling. The vine is kind of messing with the cart. So you take a peek outside, and you notice that all of your friends are getting their shit kicked out of them. <laughs> um, I'm the only one who's received damage. <laughs> Jared, how much damage do you, did you take? Uh, I have five hit points left. Okay. So, uh, hmm. I, I guess I get out of the cart and approach. Well, does, 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 does Velvet even hear it? Is it like a uh, It's rustling oh, in the yeah. cart. So, so you, hear the, you hear what's going on. Uh, mm -hmm. You don't quite know what's going on. And I'd like you to make uh, check your passive perception. Let me, what is your passive perception? It's wisdom plus, plus 10. Uh, it's wisdom modifier and 10. Could you tell me your passive perception? Perception. Let me grab that route real quick. It's it's uh it's twelve, I think. Right? It passive is passive is um just ten plus your modifier. Yeah. Okay. Uh okay, just do your passive perception is what again? Just so it's twelve? Fourteen. Wait. Fourteen. I'm yeah, gonna make 14, a roll it means anything, just quickly reading. Just have a roll out. Okay. Uh, as you step out of the cart, you immediately realize that there are vines kind of pulsating and snaking through the dirt and over the dirt, uh, through the uh, the tree, like, roots kind of snapping them at the bottom, and just, like, all congregating around your friends, and they haven't noticed you, but you are now walking through the vines very carefully, knowing that something's up. Okay, alright. Um, are you wearing high heels by any chance? I feel like, like, as a princess you might. Maybe you aren't. No, I'm just wearing... Slippers. So slippers. <laughs> slippers. Uh, yeah, slippers. Yeah, you know. <laughs> no, slippers. No, slippers. Uh, yeah, you, you know the ones that you should use. Disneyland... <laughs> you have Disneyland Mickey Mouse slippers, just so you know. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's uh, the best of slippers. Uh, and as you oh, yuck, your way through the forest, oh, no, um, you, oh, you, uh, you make it through the vines. Uh, and it, 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 you, you're very wary you. of your actions and stepping through the vines. What would you like to do? Um, because hmm. I didn't take an action to step off the cart. You're you're so imagine yourself. You're a little bit of a distance away. So I'd say like fifteen feet. Yeah. Hmm. And the main vine congregation is around your friends who are currently getting attacked by a bunch of plant life. That was an action. Don't ignore that. Compelled duel. Um, Held duel? Ignore that. That was an action. <laughs> Nathan, he's like, find me, plant. <laughs> <laughs> I am. No, that um. Uh, all right, so. Zelda. So I'm out of the carriage right now, right? And... You're out of the carriage currently. Okay. And I, all right. And you're you're walking through in your luxury slippers uh, through the pulsating and snapping vines. Snapping vines. Actually, All in right. the distance, you hear one of those flying squirrels that were mentioned earlier get caught by one of the vines and just thrown straight to the floor into a flower. All right. Now, what if... It's kind of like a... What if I were to create a bonfire around the surrounding area? <laughs> I actually thought of that, too. I thought about throwing flasks of oil. Catch but... it on fire? Yeah. Well, with cre well, okay, with my, with my cantrip, create, uh, create bonfire, it creates an area of damage. Oh, where it's like uh, okay. fire it's so good i also have burning uh, hands to make a bonfire. all right let's cast at what spell at what level at zero it's a cantrip it's it's a cantrip yeah yeah, yeah so, you don't cast it at any level yeah well it's like telling well me. it might be a cantrip that you can cast at higher levels who knows 
Uh, create bonfire. You, get a, you create a bonfire on the ground that you can see within range until the spell ends. The magic bonfire fills a five foot cube. Where would you like to? Where, where are you putting that? You have right. up to sixty feet to place that bonfire. Oh, you're right. All right. So, how far away are all of them? Fifteen feet. Fifteen feet. Okay. How am I gonna make sure that I hit the vines without hitting anybody? That's the beauty of bonfire. You can't really. Isn't the isn't the are we pretty far away from the carriage right now? It's like a five foot rate. It's like five by five, right? Curbs, I'm a tiefling. I don't take fire yeah, damage. You're, you're <gasps> you don't. Have... All right, guys, you better have good saving ro throws. There's no way. There's no way that that velvet could just put the fire like not on us. It's a pretty big plant, isn't it? I could magic missile. You could magic missile. And aim my that three missiles. Land and hit it. Yeah, and make sure. All right. Oh, right. you know, let's do that. Let's do that instead. Let's magic missile. Let's magic missile the three vines. The vines. Uh, the three vines. The three vines. The th the three vines. Um, I'm j no. I'm joking. It's kind of one big mass of vines yeah. underneath you. Yeah. They're all being animated by a main vine, but you kind of lost track of the main vine. So wait, can I find the main vine? Do, do, well, do I know about the main vine? Of vines. It's a big congregation of vines. No one really knows where the main vine is, but all, all that you know is that if you take care of the vines, you take care of the vines. Vines are vines are vines. <laughs> okay. I'll magic missile... Wait, okay, so Jared is... Um, Vinny is still, you know stuck right no Vinny is not stuck uh, not no anymore stuck currently nobody in fact Vinny just barely escaped not getting stuck <laughs> <laughs> okay and not just stuck but also horribly damaged because Vinny is on the verge of pain and death okay. I've crossed the, the verge of pain already let's just get that out there <laughs> no yeah, yeah I don't know why it's the verge of pain but the verge of further pain okay there you go. all right all right, yeah, I'll just do a magic missile then. You do a magic on, missile yeah. targeting the vines? Yep. Okay, magic missile, as you know, it hits. Uh, you hold out your hand, and all of a sudden, uh, from each fingertip, it seems like energy pools into your palm. And from your palm, your forearm kind of vibrates, and all of a sudden, boom, boom, boom! Missiles fly out. Uh, and would you like to do the damage? I would like to do the damage. One Splicing through the air as if there's nothing else to hit. The magic missiles directly hit the vines on the floor uh, near your friend's feet, not hitting your friends, of course, because it's magic missile. Or is, is that all the damage? Uh, adding one force damage, so it'd be 4-3-3. Three, 4-3-3? Three. Three, three. Yep. Okay. 4-3-3. Three, three. Got it. 4-3-3. Three, three. Uh, so you deal 10 in total? Yep. Yes. Uh, okay. You tell that that was an effective hit. Uh, the magic missiles, again, go right into the vine. Actually, one of them tunnels into the vine, the most powerful missile, and just kind of goes up the vine for a second through its bolstering, just breaking the vine apart. But as it does that, the vine kind of recuperates and builds a bit more. Um, but you know that you dealt some significant damage to the vine. All right, epic. Uh, next in the turn order is Jared, or actually Vinny Bignon. <laughs> So, I, I do I see the main vine? Uh, you you can't identify the main vine once more. None of you can identify the main vine. You just know that the vines are the vines, and if you kill the vines, you kill the vines. Doesn't matter. I point downwards at the vines. You point no, downwards I... at the vines. The vines wait, don't really on, do wait. anything. No, 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 wait. I wasn't done yet. <laughs> no, I cast hellish rebuke. Hellish rebuke. Hellish rebuke. Hellish rebuke. Yeah. Uh, could you? Could you? I don't know if you're doing that completely correctly, but okay. Just gonna yeah. Yeah. I am. Don't worry. I am. Oh, are you? Are you? I completely yeah. forget hellish rebuke. I'm casting at level two. Yo, could hellish I rebuke. catapult Jared uh, out of here? We're not taking response to being damaged by a creature. So that's in response to being damaged. It was a bit late for that, but you could still do that in the future. Yeah, it says re it's, it's reaction. It's oh, reaction. reaction. Oh, I'm yeah. stupid. You could, you could do that another time once you're being attacked. You could have done it earlier. Sure, um, but 
You oh, just next time it. you take damage, you can hellish rebuke in response. Wait, Jared, it says you have zero spell slots remaining. <laughs> That's not true, right? That, that is true. not true at all. Um, okay, let me figure out what I was gonna do. Wait, have, you, have you used any spells, Jared? I'm going to cast, cast uh, Vicious Mockery on them. You're going to cast Vicious Mockery on a plant. Okay, could you mock? <laughs> yeah, fuck you. You can't mock unless you actually mock. So your Vicious Mockery is fuck you. <laughs> fuck you, you stupid fucking plant. Break it fuck down. You. Let the plant know what you really think about it. I can. I don't want curbs to get banned. <laughs> uh, as you're afraid of your friend getting banned from the forest, you decide to hold back your words, but still, nevertheless, vicious in tone. Yes. Oh, uh, your insults are la your insults are laced with subtle enchantments that you can uh, that are attacking the creature you see within range. Uh, and do you have to roll to hit? You don't roll to hit. No. Uh, oh no no! It must succeed a wisdom saving throw or take one d4 psychic damage. Got it. Uh, so, could you tell me your spell save DC, just real quick? 14. 14. Let's roll a die. And I'll roll in front of you, just so you know how it goes. Uh, oh. so, as you insult the vines, you remember oh. that it is a plant in nature, and the plant doesn't seem to really give too much of a shit. <laughs> uh, the plant actually doesn't care about TOS. You haven't noticed, but in plant speak, it's been saying some horrible ep epithets. Oh my god. Uh, that you normally wouldn't be comfortable hearing from a friend on a live stream if you were on one, if live streams were real in this universe. Um, continuing, so you're, yeah, it does not land. It's not. God, why are you fighting a fucking plant? They don't have ears! <laughs> <laughs> That's how I fight! Hey, 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 plants don't have ears, but god damn it, plants have feelings. He's got a point. I got a point. Uh, would you like to do anything else with your turn? I'm going to try as hard as I can to run back to the cart. So, uh, running takes an action. Uh, you can move. I'm going to move. I'm going to take a brisk walk. <laughs> okay, so just so you know, it's attack speed. of opportunity. Um, yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm just kidding. so attack of opportunity. Unless you know, if you didn't know this, if you move out of a creature's range, uh, it ha without really defending yourself, it has the chance to hit you. Um, but actually, you move, you act, you don't move out of its range. You're still within its range of being oh, hit. Nice. But you disengage and you move away from your friends at least uh, to a zone where you're kind of more on your own, uh, a bit closer to the cart. Right. Uh, not quite there yet, but closer because again, your speed is halved because you're be you're very careful about the way your feet are traversing these vines. Because you, if you you know if you step on one, you're mega fucked. Yeah. Uh, next to the turn order, I'd like to ha hand it over to Grum Grumble. Grumbled. Grumbled. Well, I thought you said you cut out for a second. Oh, Grumbled. It is your turn. Okay. So you might have answered this already. But is it just a bunch of vines everywhere, or does it have a source? It has a main source of one big vine, but you do, you cannot identify it. It is a bunch of vines on the floor, uh, all being animated by one vine. But again, you cannot identify that vine. It, you just know that if you kill the vines, kill the vines. Okay, but can I use eye, of, eye for detail for that? Eye for detail? Yeah. Uh, starting at third level, you can use your bonus action to make a wisdom and check a spot for a hidden creature or object to make an intelligence saving throw. Yes, you can. Ooh. Right, oh, right, uh, right, so, right. so you can use a bonus action. Would you like to do that right now? So yeah, that would be my action. I have your detail. Uh, a wisdom. Okay, wait. So it's a wisdom perception check to spot a hidden creature or an object to make an intelligence investigation to check and uncover a decipher. I feel like it's more of a. Okay, wisdom perception to spot a hidden creature or uh, yeah, wisdom perception. Make a wisdom perception check. And what would that be contested by? Just asking. What do you mean? Uh, anybody know what that would be contested? Because oh, you're making a perception check. It has to be against something. It would be like a stealth check, right? Yeah, stealth. You're right, you're right. Thank you. Uh, yes, in stealth. Okay. So, roll wisdom perception. Oh, whoops. I hit stealth. <laughs> Ignore that roll. Um, wisdom. Fucking... Uh, roll wisdom perception. I'm gonna. Is that to wisdom. find it? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Wisdom. Wisdom. There it is. And then perception. 
No, no, you don't roll wisdom. Okay, your perception roll was a 19. Okay. Uh, now I'm just going to roll something. Oh, I see what you mean by wisdom perception. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Uh, you look through the vines, and you immediately just to have a bit more flowers on it, indicating that it might be the origin vine. Uh, the vine is slipping in and out of the dirt, but right now it seems to be caught on top of one of the tree roots and slowly sliding over it, uh, giving you an opportunity to quickly identify which vine is directly there, that being the main vine. Okay. How far is it? Uh, it is a little bit close to you. I'd say it's five feet away. Okay. And I'm able to sneak attack, right? Uh, you are able to sneak attack because now you know where the uh, main vine is, meaning that you have advantage on attack. Cool. I would like to sneak attack. Okay. Uh, roll to attack, and you add the sneak attack die once you land the attack. Okay. Okay. Uh, your short sword. Okay. So you take out your short sword after identifying the vine, and your cunning goblin eyes immediately notice where to hit. Uh, you step over the vines quickly, but expertly, so that none of the vines actually hit you. You actually step on one of them, and it tries to swipe at your leg, but it misses. Uh, and you, like, put your dagger, you put your uh, short sword directly into the vine, cutting it in twain, and you notice all the vines kind of shake a little bit, and it rolls back into the dirt, but you indeed dealt ten damage. Yes. How close is he to me, by the way? Uh, who, who, who? Me. N uh, Noah. Noah? Uh, I mean, uh, no, I, he, he, he just kind of ran over the vines. You're all over the split up. You're all at least five feet away from each other, a little bit over. In fact, the furthest yeah. away is Vinny. Five feet away from each other, perfect. <laughs> okay, would you like to do anything else with your turn? You already used your bonus action. No, I think I'm good. Okay, next in the turn order is wait, wait. P. How much movement do you have? Uh, I have 30, movement. Well, I have 15 feet, technically. Well, 10 yeah, feet. Since it, well, you have 30 movement, but it's all cut in half within the vine. Yeah. Uh, so I, I would... You can't move slightly closer to me because that'd be good. Yeah. Yeah. So like disengage because it, um it, if I, since I'm next to it, uh, it has a what's it called a hit of opportunity, right? So if I move uh, away, no. So the way the opportunity attack works is that if you leave the monster's range exactly and you're not preparing to leave it, or you're not like defending yourself as you leave, or like you know personally making conscious action of leaving, uh, you are going to they're going to take an opportunity and deal damage to you because you're easy to hit. Right. I like to just hide behind Noah, like behind his like leg. Uh, like, oh. You already took a bonus action. Oh, I just wanna. You are. Not yeah, literally your bonus action was identifying behind. the main vine. I'm just you, moving you towards can't Noah. Move you, you, yeah, just move towards me a little bit. Well, I guess he already moved, right? Oh, so... by the way, I'm gonna add a uh, plus. I'm gonna add five more damage to that hit because you identified the main vine. Uh, I'm just gonna reward you a bit. Uh, so you deal 1.5, basically your damage, what you just did. Okay. So you're actually doing 15 instead of 10. Just rewarding you for being a good player. Aww. I'll end my uh, turn. Okay, uh, it is currently the vine's turn. Uh, you look at the vine and you notice that it's kind of oozing out a bit of sap. Seems that it's taken a plenty of hits, but it's yeah. still not giving up because it knows its purpose. Uh, As all players And, and uh, since you just attacked it, actually, and you seem to be bit out in the open, uh, grumbled, it's going to make an attack against you. Well, uh, could you tell me your AC? My AC is 15. 15, got it. Still uh, not, so he, he's not within 5 feet of me, right? He's too far away. He is definitely not. He moved out of his way to attack the main vine. Okay. Uh, and you guys are all within the vines, uh, so yeah. Okay. Uh, but you're, you still defended uh, Vinny. Vinny is pretty safe right now, but the vine seems more interested in this big old chunky yummy goblin. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah um, I mean, for you. Uh, so the vines actually attempt to ensnare you, and the main vine, angriest about this entire situation, seems to kind of jut out, look you directly, as if a vine can look at you. It gives you that sense of looking. <laughs> and it goes straight towards you, but it realizes that it's still a little bit stuck, and it actually ties a knot around itself, and it lands directly on the floor, uh, exposing itself, and it's trying to escape currently, but it is now... A little bit more prone to some damage, and the vines are now in a slightly more panicked state. Score. Uh, failing to touch you. Next in the turn order is Noah. Epic. Okay. 
Uh, uh, you are after Noah. Vinny, Vinny <laughs> got to learn. Vinny ran away, so he should be fine. The main vine is exposed. This is definitely a really big creature, right? It's not like large. It's like way more than large. Uh, this is a massive creature. Yeah, I mean, it's it's not thing. it's not really on the floor. It doesn't look massive, but it's under the ground of you. There, like the earth is shifting constantly. It's a plant. I wonder if it takes increased fire damage. Uh, you could you could run a test if you think that. I try to do that, but apparently I can't. <laughs> uh, it wasn't a it wasn't a reaction. Oh, oh wait, yeah. Jared couldn't couldn't Jared have used the reaction during well, when it attacked this turn? Uh, you Jared could have reacted to it attacking himself. Uh, the way Hellish Rebuke works is that when you're hit, you can rebuke. Oh okay, that makes sense. I'm gonna use um uh express sharp disapproval or criticism of someone because of their behavior or actions. Rebuke means. I'm gonna use a uh, searing smite. Searing smite. Would you like to tell me what searing smite does? Um, it's I ca I basically make my weapon have uh, flame damage too, so it's one d six fire damage to the target. If I oh, it adds one d six fire damage. Yeah, got it. Um, uh, so uh, you right before you look at the vines and you decide to just like grip your handle, grip your like nice new handle, and your shield immediately kind of like climbs in flame, and emits a little bit of light. Uh, you now feel the power of the shield rushing through your body, and you eager to make an attack. Wait, I'm, one sec, I'm, I'm reading the thing. So, it's I okay. think if I hit them, they have to make a constitution saving throw. On a failed save, it takes 1d6 fire damage. On a successful save, the spell ends uh, at the target. Or, oh, no, no. So next time you hit a creature with a melee weapon or attack during your spell's duration, your weapon flares white hot intensity, and the attack deals an extra 1d6 fire damage to the target and causes the target to ignite in flames. At the start of each of its turns until the spell ends, the target must make a con saving throw on a failed save. No, so if you light it on fire, no matter what, it's going to stay on fire until oh. on their turn they make a save and put out the fire. Got it. Uh, okay. So if, if someone did this against, uh, say, I don't know, Vinny, Vinny might be on fire for a while because it's a con save. <laughs> Vinny just be on fire for like five turns. <laughs> no, I'm fine. I resist fire damage. I'm a tiefling. Oh, that's true. That's true. I'm a demon. Yeah, you resist it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, but what do I have to do? Well, you're yeah. not doing anything. I'm just yeah, doing like fucking guffy. <laughs> Noah, what would you like to do? So now I'm going to use my dash attack. Uh, I also, um, because, what I, what I have seen, the main vine, because it, it moved out, right, to attack The main them. vine kind of tied a knot around itself, and it's exposed currently. Okay, so I'm going to move up to uh, Grumbolt, where the main vine is, right, and okay. hit it with, with my shield dash. Okay, uh, yeah. your hit definitely lands, uh, and seven. it deals 1d6 bludgeoning. I'm going to ask you to roll additional fire damage for the yeah, uh, attack fire. Oh, wait, oh, uh, no, no. And the attack deals an extra one d six fire damage. The target causes it. Okay. Yeah, okay. So it does one more. It does one additional. And now the vines are on fire. Well, actually, I'd like you to roll an additional one d four for attacking. Huh? You you hit the main vine. It's gonna deal an extra. Oh. Damage. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Let's go. So you deal thirteen damage with your shield alone. Or actually eleven damage with your shield alone. Hey, really? Is um, it seven? Oh, you mean yeah? It all let fire. me talk. Yeah. <laughs> and your additional fire damage coming off of your shield, it does so little damage, and you find seems to not really care about any fire damage. Uh, so it ignites in flames, but currently it has done no damage to it from the flames itself. Uh, as if it's resisting the fire that it's engulfed in. Okay. Uh, but you still deal 11 damage from the bash alone, uh, just squashing the vine a little bit. Uh, so you deal 11 in total and no additional fire damage, but it is ign it's it's on fire. Uh, and that is going to drop down to that. Okay. Cool. Next to the turn order. Velvet. You see all this happen. You see your friend ignite his shield and attack the vine directly, causing it to catch on fire, but it seems to not really have taken much damage from the fire itself. Uh, it is a forest. I'm assuming they're pebbles. Yeah, pebbles. 
things I've shoved up my forest. With pebbles. <laughs> Corns. Corns. Stick handle. <laughs> and trip handle. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there are pebbles across your feet. Uh, they're currently being a little bit ensnared. They're, like, there are vines kind of crawling all around, but you see a couple of, uh, uh, you see a couple of pebbles around you if you'd like to make a sleight of hands check to grab one without noticing, the, without, like, triggering off the vines. Okay, uh, this will count as a bonus action, so I'm not going to make it cost your turn. Uh, make a sleight of hand check. That is, yeah. <laughs> 16. No, 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 you rolled a, uh, plus four? You have addition, advantage in sleight of hand? It's a dex thing, right? It uh, is... Oh, it's a dex, yeah, you don't have a, yeah, 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 you just have high dex, I forgot. Um, yeah, you immediately grab the pebble, uh, I just already, uh, you immediately grab the pebble, uh, no vines are noticed, but you grabbed a nice, like, solidly shaped pebble, uh, with a bit of a sharp tip, a bit of a like a, a geometrical look to it, but it's still nice. It's thick and it's dense. Okay. Would you like to cast catapult? Then cast catapult. <laughs> uh, no, the object is definitely one to five pounds. Uh, the object flies in a straight line. So you basically, as you cast this spell, a magical net of sort. It's like it's just like an era of like like an aura of magic kind of grabs the pebble, perfectly confines around it like it's been airtightly. It pulls back to you and immediately shoots directly to the vine. Um and it land and it's uh attempting to land direct uh and the object flies it's not really against the solid surface. The object would strike a creature, it must make a dexterity save you draw on a failed save the object. Okay. So it makes a dex save. Against your spell save DC. Could you tell me your spell save DC, please? Oh! Uh, okay, so the pebble tries to launch directly at it, and the pebble lands directly through the vines, missing it. And the vines seem a little bit enraged and kind of look uh, a, a bit more eager to kill, even though it already was. Good job. Would you, like, would you like to do anything else? <laughs> You're gonna run away from your friends who are all getting at the head. <laughs> uh, you go back into the carriage and you're perfectly fine, nothing happened. Kind of shaking. It feels like you're in a bunker while a war is outside, but in reality there's just one vine grabbing at your wheel, kind of shaking the cart a little bit. Uh, and you seem fine. You, you feel fine. You're in a cart while your friends are dying. Uh, next in the turn order. <laughs> next in the turn order is going to be... Who is this? It's Vinny. Vinny. Think, okay. Vinny Vignot. Vinny. So, that, that's fun. Vinny, you're up. Yeah, I know. What would I'm you like perfectly to aware. Am I close to the vines? I know I ran you away. You are on top of the vines. You're kind of in that area. Oh, I am? Um, okay. The others. I'm gonna, I know this is gonna sound weird, but I'm gonna draw my weapon, my rapier, and I'm gonna try to stab the vines. <laughs> it's not that weird. You're <laughs> attacked by vines. Uh, okay. Yeah, attempt to, to attack the vines. I think that's what I do, right? Yeah, that. Fuck. Alright, okay. <laughs> All right here, and these vines that are pulsating through the uh, you took a little bit of damage earlier, so your vision's a little bit hand. Try to land your rapier directly into it, but you just put your rapier's point directly into the dirt. Realizing that you missed, you pull it back, shake it off, put it back into your hilt, but you missed your attack. Uh, Alright, like perfect. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll walk towards the cart. Uh, you walk towards the cart? Just... Okay. Yeah, just disengage! <laughs> Um, yeah, towards... I just leave. <laughs> <laughs> um, you walk towards the cart. Uh, oh my, oh fuck, curves. You muted yourself. Yeah, um, I know. Okay. What is the are the horses doing anything? Are they like scared? What's the horse doing? The horses are kind of just vibing. They're plants moving. Horses don't comprehend the complexity of plant life. 
Uh, they just know food and not food, and they know <laughs> movement. Um, <laughs> uh, they're not very smart horses. You, yeah, you walk back to the cart. Uh, you seem perfectly fine. You right, basically, you kind of just walk up to the cart and you see uh, Vinny just kind of relaxing with her slippers on, or you see Velvet relaxing with her slippers on, and you, uh, yeah, yeah. <sighs> okay. Despite you having turn. additional AC, you fucking decide to disengage. <laughs> oh my god. Because I'm so close to death. I, I could have um, healed you if you were closer next to me. Next turn order is crumbled. <laughs> okay. Uh, Vinny, are you okay? No! It's <laughs> like the size class of this uh, vine monster. Sorry, what? What's the size of this vine monster? It's, it's just a bunch of vines congregating around your feet. So uh, it's quite large. I'd say like 30 foot radius of the underground. So if I were to use like Fury of the Small, would I fuck it up pretty You'd good? You'd easily be able to use Fury of the Small. Okay. So I would like to use Fury of the Small, which I will post if you need. Fury of the Small is something you do after you damage. Oh. Well, I would like to damage then Fury of the Small. How would you like to attack the vine? Short sword. In you face. Short sword. Uh, 15, yep. Oh, I uh, so you see the vines. The main vine seems closed itself, knowing that it's in danger. Uh, still on fire, like in certain areas. It's still burning. Uh, and you take out your short sword immediately to attack. Let me fucking tell you if you hit. <laughs> this is there if you need it. Uh, so you, yeah. You take out your short sword, you cut right into the vine. Ooze kind of splatters out a bit more. And you deal 8 piercing damage. Plus sneak attack. Well, is it eight? No, you, with, uh... you guys are not that close to each other. No, it's, it's, it's five feet from the enemy. Well, no, sorry, I wanted to use Fury to Small. Which no, 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 it's five feet from the enemy when your friend is also with the enemy. As yeah. near each other. Yeah, we are. We're right next to each other. Are you? Yeah, remember I moved, I moved right next to... I, I said last turn, I moved right next to Grumble, and I used I my... That. Uh, yeah. yeah, add sneak attack damage, uh, which is, I believe, a d6. And add... Uh, are you using... Fury the small, yeah. Okay, it's just add them both. Fury the small, what That's do I roll? Six? Uh, uh, when the damage creature with attacker spell... Okay, you can cause like the attacker spell to deal extra damage to the creature. The extra damage equals your level, so that's three like extra damage. Three. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So you deal an additional five on top of the eight that you just dealt. Uh, so you are a goblin in nature, and you are angry. You cut <laughs> into it, and you go... Ah! And you like like you flip it back over and you stab it back again and you cut it through uh, without it noticing you and all of a sudden the vine has taken an additional five damage. Uh, what would you like to do with the rest of your turn? I think I am good. Are you sure yeah. about that? Well, fuck. Okay. Wait. You have a bonus it. action and your whole character is built around having bonus action. It's true. Um. Okay. I would like to just you know disengage, nimble escape. <laughs> Okay, uh, you use your nimble escape, you run away, the vine, you climb up a tree on top of a branch, uh, just so you're not within attacking range of the vine. Oh, it's, uh, two, it's a short it's, branch. Apparently it's 2d6 for sneak attack. Yeah. It's 2d6 for sneak attack? Yeah. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Did I set up? No. My bad. One more d6, please. Yeah. There you go, that's an additional <laughs> one damage. Um, so, yeah. Sorry, sneak attack's really confusing to me. I'm still working on it. We're all having fun here. You know, we're working. Thank you, Doombot. You're helping like a lot. Laugh. Um, okay, yeah. Nimble escape. Uh, you yeah, nimble escape. Yeah, you climb up on a branch. You're kind of hanging by your stuff. Your branch is kind of just bending down a bit. But you're out of range. Hang so in there. You know. Hang in there, baby. <laughs> Kitty. Kitty? Uh, baby works too, I guess. It's a little more uh, morbid. Next to the turn order is the vine, seeing that it has no other target to attack. It looks directly at Noah and attempts to make a melee attack uh, melee attack weapon. Could you tell me your AC? Uh, 18. 18? Okay. I'm just gonna roll a d20. Okay. Uh, oh, it was the first roll. I didn't roll twice. Uh, okay, so uh, the vines seem to exactly match your AC because immediately they uh, take one vine, swipes at your shield to distract you, and goes underneath and grabs you by your calves. Wait, uh, your most weak he tied the defender one to the attacker? Uh, the attacker, I believe. Yeah, that's really? how it works. Really? Pretty sure. 
I don't, is that true? Yeah, that's how AAC works. You have to tie it or get higher. Oh, okay. If that's how it works, then that's how it works. That's how it works. Okay. <laughs> Continuing so. Uh, the, the vines ensnare around your legs deal uh, 2d6 plus 4 damage. Epic. Uh, uh, you are now currently restrained. Two. Uh, they deal 8 damage directly to you. Okay, so I went 31. I'm at... 23? Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh, it's all bludgeoning damage. And now you are not just grappled, restrained, uh, and the flowers start to open once more. Slowly. Uh, Next in the turn order is uh, <laughs> is Noah. What would, you, uh, what would you like to do? Um. So I'm restrained, so then I attack at disadvantage. So... Uh, you're not... No, that's grapple. Restrained, I believe... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Attack rolls uh, against you have advantage and you attract. Actually, can I, can I can I can I use my reaction? Um, like when they attack, when they grapple me. Uh, it successfully grappled you. It seems a bit late to mention, but uh, what's your reaction? It's a, it doesn't like it doesn't change anything. They st like this would be after they deal damage. Oh, after they deal yeah. damage is when is your reaction? What's yeah. okay? Tell me. It's a channel divinity rebuke violence. Ooh. Okay, and does that okay? And they you make. Okay, uh, you can use your to immediately after an attacker within 30 feet of you, okay? Uh, you can use your reaction to force oh, the attacker to make a move. It says other than you. It doesn't work, yeah. But I forgot. It doesn't work. <laughs> oh, Fire yeah. Emblem counter. <laughs> uh, so the vines are still ensnared around your cat, them, uh, and they're climbing up you slowly, and you are now restrained. Okay, I think... Uh, oh, not just it... your calves. It's also kind of like around your ab... Like your your arms are kind of held. So you're still standing though. Is is trying to escape a bonus action or an action? Uh, that is definitely an action. Okay, so I'm going you are to fully restrain. Um, make a strength. Uh, yeah, make a I'm gonna make a strength save. I believe right? it is a uh, strength, or athletics, or an acrobatic. Ooh, let's do ath athletics. Fuck me, man. Okay. Would you <laughs> roll? Work? I rolled an eight. <laughs> you rolled an eight. Well, that's eight plus five. Oh no, that was no, a three. So that's plus five. that's three plus five. And that is contested by the uh, strength. Uh, yes. Oh no no. Uh, vine. Let's go vine. Roll three. Vine. Uh, yeah, vine rolls. Vine rolls. What? Wow. Okay, the vine rolled a fourteen. I clicked it twice, but the first roll was the fourteen. Uh, follow it. Well, I mean, last time I did that, it was a 12. Yeah. I, I first. I'm not trying to be a dick. Uh, nice. And so, but that is a 14 plus its strength. Wow, yeah. Okay, so you attempt to break free on your turn, but you are still restrained. You feel your arms closing and tighter on you, and the vines have crawled up to around your neck. Uh, you are fully restrained, and you have not broken out. Okay. Uh, next in the turn order is... <laughs> Velvet. What you gonna do in that cart? <laughs> um, take the hounds. Yeah, did I'm gonna... <laughs> ditch me to fight. You guys just ditch me to fight the fucking plant monster. What the fuck? Even might die. Um, so yeah, hanging on a boat. Oh, he he's in danger of dying. Uh oh. He, he's fully restrained by um like a huge ass plant that's been kicking their ass without even restraint. I'm never giving Vinny AC again. <laughs> you know, that's fair. You know. All uh, right. You, you so, both go in the cart, and you can hear a bit of the commotion from the uh, from the side, but you don't see it. So you're not like, you seem to be not caring about anyone but yourself. Oh my god! Can I open the door and cast a magic missile? <laughs> like a not even looking, cast a magic missile? <laughs> no, like you know, no, like I look out. I open the the door, and I look outside to see Noah getting his butt beaten. That is the best attack I've heard in a long time. Yes, you can cast the magic missile looking at the You don't really know which vine to attack, so you're just like, ugh, vines. <laughs> vines. You know, just, oh my God. just go. <laughs> I hate you, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my character's built throughout supporting people in fights, but no one's fighting. <laughs> 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 Yeah, but um, I cast magic missile. 
Magic missile. You cast magic missile. Please deal the damage. Wow. Okay. Deal the damage. Yeah, yeah. I'm pulling that out. What is it? Uh, D4, right? I believe it's 3D4. Alright, 4, 4, and 4! That's 15! Nice. Wow! Epic. Four plus something, right? Yeah, so it's um, 15 in total. 15 in total. Uh, so you, you're, you cast Magic Missile, and all of a sudden, the pool of magic goes back into your palm, and just out of sheer discontent, and sheer not giving a shit, you just cast Magic Missile, looking at the vines, and without even knowing, the Magic Missile goes directly through the vines, climbs up the vine, breaking it as it climbs, and it deals 15 damage in total. Dropping the vine down to what seems to be near death, but it is still holding onto Nathan for dear life, because it wants to kill someone. Oh, crap. Uh, um, next in the turn order Wait, is... wait. I close the doors. Huh? There we go. You close the door! Oh my god. <laughs> the is Vinny, who just saw your friend uh, land an awesome attack. And you're like, yeah, I, you know. I'm feeling, I'm feeling uh, empowered by that sheer, of pure strength. So I run up and I slash it with my rapier. So you realize that running within the vine is... Uh, Okay, I don't it's run. <laughs> I find the closest. I find the closest vine that looks important, and I stab it. I guess I should have told everyone where the important part was. <laughs> well, no, the important part escaped. You deal. You dealt a okay. bunch of damage directly to it. Uh, okay. So you attack to. So there is a vine. You notice a vine at the cart at the base of your cart, wrestling at this entire time. Oh yeah, I just I take out my dagger and I cut that off. Attempt to make an attack. Oh. Jeez, but wait, Jed, uh, the thing's immune to fire, right? Because, like, I'm, I'm technically still on fire. It has resistance to fire, yeah. Resist I, 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 I did the roll for damage, and it again got a nothing. Okay. Sorry, I, I forgot to mention it. Okay, I hit it. You hit it. Roll for damage? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> did not kill it. No, I did not kill it. Um, so you take out your deck and you stab the vine directly. Wait, wait, wait. Can I can I also use psychic blades? What is psychic blades? Um if, if I attack something then I can imbue my dagger with psychic powers and so I can I believe you're supposed to do that beforehand, but I'm gonna let you do it. <laughs> you're gonna wait, wait wait, psychic blades? Where is it? It's right here. It's right there. Like uh, when right you there. join the College of Whispers at third level, you gain the ability to make your magically toxic to a creature's mind. When you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you use one of your bardic inspirations to deal an extra 2d6 psychic damage. Yes, you uh, you do that. Perfect. Okay. When you roll for damage, 2d6 psychic. You lost a bardic inspiration, but yeah. That doesn't matter to me. You deal an additional 6 on top of the 3 you dealt before. Uh, you stab into the vine, and you re the vines kind of release uh, Noah. The vines release everything, and they shoot straight to the air, as if screaming, shaking, wiggling, 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 off the ground, and just die. I look back, and I flash them with thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look at Vinny and say, yeah, the shield really helped you. <laughs> it did. <laughs> Uh, do -do 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 -do. I cough slayed. up blood. <laughs> you have slayed the uh, vine. Would you like to know the name of the vine? Sure. Assassin vine. Let may I let you know what would have happened if it didn't somehow exactly kill it? It killed us. It would have done six d six damage to Nathan. Oh my. God. To Noah. Six d six. Jesus crap. Christ. Poison damage. God. Well then, all that. Dude, you, you, in the beginning of the fight, you almost died. <laughs> I, you're, you're, died. Absolutely, you're absolutely right. <laughs> uh, the vine has been defeated, and as it dies, you notice that a uh, a night of fog, like that you saw earlier, reappears and goes, "Wow, didn't uh, didn't expect that." Can we just immediately I take beat him my crossbow and I shoot him. <laughs> you're <in> <laughs> oh yeah, you're not in combat. Now. Uh, sure. You you expend a bolt 
Oh my god, look uh, at the damage they could have done. <laughs> oh my god. Roll to oh hit. yeah, dude, that would have almost killed you. I rolled a hit. Uh, oh my gosh. Wait, it wouldn't what? have killed me. It would have had to there you go. Just Okay, crossbow. It is definitely within 30 feet. Uh, you shoot a crossbow straight through the air, and it goes directly into the knight's face, right in its visor, and it shoots right through. Just a flesh wound. <laughs> Does no damage. It just it goes straight through it, uh, and it kind of blows the air around it. Its face like kind of phases in and out and goes back, and it goes, Well done, adventurer! <laughs> <laughs> Good aim! I climb into a Carlo Velvet and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> so who was outside? I don't know. Some asshole. Am I, am I close to it now? Because I was like right in the middle of all the battling. Is, is the, oh, is you were right close? next to it. Uh, you actually, you're kind of like putting your hand on your neck, feeling the pain from the vine. You're kind of just like eking that off. Uh, but in your wariest nature, you kind of check on your friends to make sure everyone's okay. Because in the end, you want everyone else to be happy. Wait, what did you say? Isn't that your whole character? You want to protect others? Yeah. I was saying that you keep an eye out to protect- Maybe you don't, I don't know, fuck it. Maybe you're an asshole, you're just checking out like, Oh, is, did, did my dick get hurt by the vine? No, my dick's intact. <laughs> well, I do check, I do check to see, make sure everyone's okay from where I'm sitting. You check to make sure everyone's okay, and everyone seems fine. Your friends are- two of them are hiding in a car, you presume that they're having a tea time. Uh, one of your friends is kind of dangling off of a branch, it looks like he's having a bit of fun, and you are standing in the remnants of a monster that was just attempting to deal 30 poison damage to you, um, noticing that your friends kind of abandoned you. Noah, I need you to grab me. <laughs> I walk over, it's okay, Grumble, I got you. I reach up and I grab him. Uh, the the uh, spherical goblin lands into your spherical goblin. <laughs> I'm pretty I'm pretty strong. It should be fine. Uh, he lands into your arms and you hold him with great strength and you actually look him directly into the eyes. Then I drop him. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. One d four damage, please. No. What again? No. He's like, just I'm... dropped him. <laughs> no, you don't. You didn't throw him this time. You just dropped him. I just dropped. It was like a actually. Two foot could drop. you roll a d twenty? I just want to check two something. Two foot I'm... drop. It's a two foot drop. Fine. It's a two. Tr it's a two fucking foot drop. Fine. I'm the. Uh... No. Yeah. Totally. You're right. I just wanted to fuck with you. Players <laughs> <laughs> oh, made of heat. What a dream. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah. No. Definitely. Uh. You drop him to the and the night. It... Very good. That wasn't what I was expecting. But good for you. Was this a trial? Um, sure! Trial! Yes, this was a trial, and you hero have proven yourselves very worthy. There are many trials ahead if you need to continue. Do you know where the dragon is, sir? Do I know where the... He, he kind of like fogs like right next to you and gets right in your ears. Like, oh, Who told you that there was a dragon? Is that why you're here? <laughs> Uh, yeah, the queen sent us to find the green dragon. The the queen? Uh, what kingdom? Uh, what kingdom? I don't remember. Ogi. Ogi, O-O-G-I. O-O-G-I? O-O-G-I, Ogi. The queen of Ogi. The queen of... Do you mean the blue? The... Uh, so he kind of stumbles back, but he kind of gets... He phases back in, not never walking. He's, his legs just become a cloud of air and then comes back to you and he's like... Yes, very good! Uh, there are many challenges. You look like great warriors. Uh, your friends are very good at hiding. <laughs> uh, would you like... Uh, I, I, I... He kind of like, like crosses his fingers a little bit more worried. He's like, uh, there is a forest. And would you like to continue through it? Excuse me. Pardon. <laughs> what? It's okay. <laughs> I can do <hear> Kai. <laughs> I know I just tried to kill you a second ago, but it wasn't me. I'm just. Doing... I can. I can help you through the first. You're very strong people. Um, can I do? Can I look to see if he's telling the truth this time? Because he just. He he literally just showed up with a monster. I, I don't. I don't trust him. Yeah, and also like he. Well, I I called it a trial, but he went with it. You know? So like maybe it's a trap. Yeah, I I don't trust him. I don't trust him. So, yeah, I'm supposed to have an eye for this shit. Are you rolling for insight? Yes, I am. I'm I'm trying to see if he's lying. Uh, yeah, roll. I did. Was it... 
Yeah, I did. Inside, I him. Uh, you noticed, you look directly into his foggy, aberrational eye, and you realize that he's not quite trying to get you killed. He might mess with you and maybe give you... But he will lead you to where you need to go if you want. Uh, he he is there to mess with you and kind of hurt you a bit, but he can be a friend for an hour. Yeah. I, I just turned to Grimmel and say, we got to be careful this guy. But yeah, I, think he'll, I think he'll take us to where we're going. Okay. And also, I think I have abilities for this kind of moment. What are the abilities? Ear of... Wait, hold on. Let me just double check. I'll share them. These two, I think, would help. Uh, ear for deceit. Uh, you develop a talent for picking out lies whenever you make a wisdom to determine whether a creature is lying. Will it seven or lower? Oh, yeah. No, you could, you could just... You, I mean, Nathan just made that check, but you can make the check again. I also have this thing. Um, I don't see a point right now. So he might he might he might be more willing to help us because of this feature I have. Yeah. He's already willing to help you. But even more willing to help us. Oh, he's thoroughly willing to help you, but I mean he's gonna help you in the way that he helps people. Yeah, it sounds like he's helping us because he wants something from us. It sounds like he's bored. He has nothing better than do. <laughs> <laughs> that one! <laughs> uh, he, he points to you and goes, that, that's it, I'm bored. Okay, I, I just walk back to the carriage. As you walk Jimmy, back to the carriage, no, the lights fade out. For and... the help, guys. Thanks for some, thanks. I'm happy you're safe. I, I feel like I could have died, but I think we did okay. From, from now on, I'm going to be using my shield on um, Grumble, since he's always in the front lines. Thanks, man. Let me kind of tear up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with the carriage too. I don't want to be alone out here. Velvet, would you like to respond at all, or are you just gonna ignore? Um, I personally did not want to get in the middle of that after I saw Vinny. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a smart will... choice for me to stay back. It's I okay. stand up in the car, about to yell at Noah, and I start pointing at him, and all my bones just crack, and I sit back down. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the uh, the knight notices that. Here, may I? What? <laughs> may I heal you? Yes, please. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> so as you say that, he immediately a ball of fog, climbs directly through your mouth, and your body oh, starts God. to pulsate. <laughs> uh, and you kind of like scream with fog blowing out, and you go, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> and then he climbs right back out of your mouth and he's like, there you go! All the internal bleeding done! Uh, and you're back to full health. Uh, oh! Mr. Fogman, can I have some of that too? Gladly! Uh, he kind of like, <laughs> like takes his foggy appearance, his hands kind of for a second, and he dives directly into your mouth as if it's like an electric sport. Uh, and he goes through your body and you drop your shield to the floor now pulsating on the ground in writhing agony. But I, I have a pretty strong constitution. Can I? Can I? Nathan, like, stand I up? said you're on the ground in agony. Okay. There is something with your body. Okay. <laughs> make noises. Um, what kind of noise would he make? Like, like, uh, like something like that. <laughs> like he's suppressing uh, the pain. Your mouth starts to foam as fog pools out. He dives back out of your body and he goes, "Wow, me!" <laughs> um, and your health is back to full. He's nice. like, anybody else want a little joy ride? No, 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 thank you. Does it count as a rest? Because I just uh, need my uh, fury to small no, back. It's just health recovery. Yeah, but then I don't need it. Can, can I have my no, spell no. slots back? Uh, spell slots? <laughs> yeah, uh, do you recall? <laughs> yeah, we just need to rest first. So I guess we can uh, rest on like, the rest of our journey. You need to rest? Uh, he attempts to make, he attempts to dive into your mouth to help you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> roll a, uh, here, I'm gonna quickly check your character sheet. Uh, roll a. Roll a. What would you use to dodge attack? Saving throw. Roll a dexterity saving throw. Well, he's gonna pass. I just got like Megan. Yeah. Oh, he did it. Hey, no, so, uh, as he tries to dive in, uh, he dodged completely, and like Danny Phantom and just dives into the floor and dives back out, and he's like, hey! This that could have been fun. <laughs> I'll get back to driving. And I climb out to make the horses go forward. As you say that, the lights kind of fade out in our little theater because we're taking. 
intermission so I can go intermission some more. Intermission time. Curse if intermission. Time. Hey everybody, are we back? I think we are. No, no, no. Oh, his legs are up here. Oh. <coughs> All right, I'm gonna do for this. <laughs> I love um, this. Is so weird. <laughs> All right, let me quickly just look up something before we start. I like how like individual parts of him move. Yeah. <laughs> Like his head will move and his legs will move yeah. <laughs> at different times. Oh my gosh. One second, one second. I guess I have to redraw I have to redraw him now because he's behind a layer. Alright, 30 second ad. Oh my god. What a chad. <laughs> <laughs> no, there was an error. You fucking Everybody. idiot. <laughs> you fucking idiot. Are we unmuted now? Yeah, you, you've been unmuted. Okay. <laughs> What's up, I guys? Oh. Yeah, Steve just left. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Alright, everybody, ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm redrawing my character. Alright, one second. How do I add a token? I think I think Jack has to add the token because he's a he's a GM. I need a good read. I'm reading something real quick right before we start. I'm really bad at drawing. <laughs> <laughs> I can draw on the I can't draw on like the roll twenty thing. <laughs> I can draw on anything else but roll 20. And you'll also make fan art of our characters. <laughs> I would I love wish. that. Um, okay, one sec, I gotta read this. Nathan, that's not how a shield goes. It goes oh, on your arm, mean? preferably. I know, but like, I can't draw that. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm not. I don't know how to draw. <laughs> is that Jared? Is that is that Vinny? Oh no, his shoes are too big. Well, what are you talking about? Curves. Which one? Uh, the red one. Yeah, that's mine. Nice. Oh, I can't. Okay, there we go. Then <laughs> shoes too big. Ah, uh, okay. I'm sorry, I need to read something real Wouldn't quick. Boots be brown? Ah. Brown boots. Yes. Brown boots in Minecraft! Brown boots. <clears throat> in Minecraft. Alright, everyone, let's go around. Let's do our best impressions. Yeah, well, we... take five minutes and I gotta learn something real quick. Yeah, you have 13 seconds right now in the ad. No, I got, I got four minutes. It's gonna take me four minutes. Nathan, do your best impression. Go. Um, of what? <clears throat> oh, that's me, Mickey Mouse. Oh yeah. All right, there you go, Steven. Go. I lumping hate you. That's not my impression. Lumpy space princess. <laughs> oh fuck, that's really good. <laughs> Curbs, go. Uh, number fifteen. Burger King foot lettuce. <laughs> the last thing you want in your Burger King burger is someone else's foot fungus. But in fact, pretty close. that might be what you get. Number 15. Number 15. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alright. Hello, my name is Stephen Hawking. Hello there, my so... name is Stephen King. No, no, no. It is very <laughs> nice to meet you. My I'm name is Nathan, and I used to be a smoker. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody. How are we all feeling? Ready to smoke. Ready? Cool. So, all of you walk through the forest. So, your cart's currently being led by this misty knight, the knight of the mist, as you might call him. Um, and 
as you enter the forest more and more, the lights kind of fade in and out. It feels a little bit trippier. And you enter another section of the forest, but this time it's not quite right again. Uh, the sky has a more of a purplish velvet tone in the air uh, as opposed to the more reddish tone uh, prior. Uh, but in front of you is this, what seems to be just a casino in the forest. Epic. Um, Casinos exist? Like, what kind of, like, like what do you mean by, like, like a, like a medieval casino or, like, like, like Las Vegas? It's like a medieval, it's like a casino, but I meant more of, like, a tavern. But it's, it's oh, like, okay. a, it has a picture of dice right in the front of it. Oh. Okay. Gambling's a very old profession. <laughs> the Misty Knight looks back at you all and goes, <clears throat> Okay, hey! There's you. There, there you go. There's your next challenge. Want want to do it? We're gonna play the craps. Um, I don't think a twelve year old can gamble. Only <laughs> <laughs> huh. uh, twelve. He, he looks at you. Goes, no, 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 no. Else, no. else twelve. A gambling den. And he's, you know, he looks at you. And he goes, "Do you have money?" Yeah. No. 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 Yes. no. <laughs> We, Bro, no, that's all that matters with gambling. We don't have any money. We're poor. Yeah, oh, I literally well, have nothing. <laughs> it doesn't matter. What matters is that you go into there and you try to play, get the ruby that's within there. Or at least find the ruby. The whole thing's a monster. We have to kill the gamble. Okay. <laughs> we have to, guys, this is fun. We gotta, I, I climb in and I say, guys, this is fun. We gotta sneak in and steal things. I volunteer to go. You know, I volunteered to go since my, uh, what's it called? My background is gambler. So. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll go. I'll go also. I'm good with cards. Uh, we Noah? should all go, I think? Or are we already, we're already all going. Yeah. Okay, perfect. Let's box. all go. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm, like, super on edge, but I just go. Then have a connect and then tell everybody. I. No, like, I'm just like I'm my my character. I don't tell people. I, I'm just like my character just is on edge. Oh, well, understood. Got it. Fine. Just pretend you're playing the slots. You'll get free drink. Okay. <laughs> like not on edge. That like not like uh, not from the gambling. Like in like the getting attacked. Oh yeah, true. All right, everybody. <laughs> so we walk into the casino. Uh yes. So you walk into the casino. And then all of a sudden, you hear a rustle and you hear a bustle. You see women walking around, the men walking around. sexier. You see <laughs> tables filled with dice, filled with monsters of every kind, playing and shooting. You see a bunch of satyrs with a bunch of nice bow ties, uh, looking like bartenders, walking around delivering drinks. And uh, you notice that uh, everything's just chaos in this entire bar, but it looks like a bunch of fun chaos that everyone's enjoying. Uh, you see darts with real daggers in the corner. Uh, you see uh, just drinks flowing over and clinging and clashing and glasses breaking. But everyone's having a good time. It's like that one place in the SpongeBob movie. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I, I look to Kerr. I look to Velvet. And I say what? No, <laughs> no, no, no that wasn't that? Velvet. Didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Velvet didn't say that. <laughs> Um, so you, you're the, right before you enter, like, as you're walking in, the, uh, the, the clouded knight goes up to you one more time and goes, remember, get the ruby! And he kind of fades right back out, and all of a sudden the door slams right behind you, and everyone looks directly at you. The fucking crowd goes silent. Um, He's not with us, that guy? I don't know. I, I just, like, I think I go to Vinny, like, you're killing people, right? Bell Not waves. really, no. <laughs> uh, one guy in the back goes, Hey! What are you, what are you blacks doing here? <laughs> I pull out my guitar and I start playing music. <laughs> Alright, what song do you play? Wonderwall. Um, Wonderwall. Let's see here. <laughs> hey, you put me on the spot, huh? Huh. Yep, and you're gonna roll performance. Oh yeah, of course. Um, I play... Just, uh... House of the Ri- oh, okay. House of the Rising Sun on the House acoustic guitar. House of the guitar. Rising Sun on the acoustic guitar. <laughs> yes. Roll for, per- roll for performance? Oh my god! That's a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the second time. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they all look at you like, hey, what's this, what's this little thing you're imp doing? What's this little thing imp doing? They're trying to like peeve you on. 
Then you take out your guitar and you go. Could you actually play it? Oh, no, no, we don't want to get copyrighted. Um, <laughs> just play it with your mouth, like hum it. Before you even playing guitar, you start saying. The entire crowd is enthralled. Then you hit the fucking G chord that you're looking for. As after you tune your guitar, going and the entire crowd loses it. They're all going crazy. The band that was already there gestures towards you and asks you to come up and play with them. I run up there and I start playing. While well, everyone's enthralled, I um I turn to Grumble and I say, Grumble, you're a free sneaky. Why don't you? Why don't we go stuff de- sneaking around while Jared's got the whole uh, crowd distracted? Before that happens, actually, Jared. Uh, so uh, actually, not Jared. Vinny. Vinny. Uh, Vinny runs up to the uh, to the band and the guitar there player there. Yeah, it takes his guitar, smashes it on its forehead, and goes, Bray! <laughs> uh, giving you the new rights to being the guitar player of this tavern. Perfect. And I just um, and all of you are just killing it. Yeah, you keep playing, uh, and everyone's just going crazy. Uh, the entire yeah. bar is back to what they were already doing, playing games, gambling, drinking harder than ever, but now there's a crowd dancing in front of you, just having a good time. There we go. Uh, yes. So Noah, what's our goal of sneaking? Are we finding this ruby that was mentioned? Wait, wait is, is he a thief? Or like, you're, you're like sneaky, so you can sneak around and find the ruby, right? Yeah, I just don't know where it would be. Do you have any ideas? Um, okay, I need a question about the area. Is is there like a is there like a bar with a bartender around here? Yeah, there's a bartender. So like okay. Nickel Cade, where we have to win tickets to get the ruby. <laughs> I I go over I go over and ask the bar- bartender. Or actually, can you describe him first? He's like an old man and a young guy, or what? Well, how about let me tell you what the bartender looks like. Yeah. Uh, the bartender looks like a well-aged satyr. She is doing her best at her work. Her, her forearms are covered in hair, just like satyr would be, and she's got the most beautiful goat legs. The most <laughs> nice. attractive satyr you've ever seen work in this bar. Uh, she is a hoot. Including your forearm hair. Uh, and I mean vast, like a cloud of forearm hair. There's nothing wrong with forearm hair. I mean, she's got like, like a faux hawk of forearm hair. Does she have... Wait, so she's a satyr? Does she have like, little horns or no? Uh, she has no? a satyr. Uh, well, yeah, she has, she, has, she has uh horns at the top, two of them. She seems to decorate them with uh, uh, what you might use as tinsel. She likes to make it look nice. And then would I would I have like a I don't know what would this be like what would what would be knowledge of like social social like things that like you know how like you have a fashion sense and like like you know what to compliment on someone because they have good fashion. What, what would, that might be a history. Her arm hair. History. That'd yeah. be history. Okay, let's do that. I, I want to see if I could figure out what to compliment on her. <laughs> oh. oh no! Would it be history since it's wisdom or int? I mean. Like, God, you fucking idiot! <laughs> and you go up to her. Well, like he was asking, like to look back on me, like, oh, I think I know how to compliment people. How, how do I how do I compliment someone of this culture? <laughs> uh, you go up to her and give her a compliment. Um, I think it'd be better if I did the history. <laughs> it's a bit late. A bit late for uh, I already did. You, you, had, you, you can you can come in and save me, okay? Velvet. You, 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 I'm with Velvet. Uh, okay, all right. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm say something like, super offensive right now. I'm just gonna uh, roll. I, yeah. I think the. I think that you're. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm trying to think of something to say. Like off the floor. I I think that the hair on your on your arms is quite shiny. <laughs> oh, she looks directly and she's like, "Well then, uh, I think that's awfully rude of you, but I, I'm not sure. I'm not looking to make a fight. I'm. I'm bartender, would you stop? <laughs> uh, Vel rushes in, and, um, uh, he, he, um, he actually meant, uh, okay, so, do I get to know? Well, hello like... there, sweetie, how are you? Oh, yeah, wait, wait, does, does, yeah, does, uh, does, what, yeah, does Vel get to know, like, what's good about it? What do you mean? Like, because, because Vel got a 24, so wouldn't well, they you're trying to, to compliment this, you're trying to compliment them, not based on charisma, you're trying to ba- compliment them based on your knowledge of their history. Oh, you I could see. compliment him just based on charisma. He could be like, "Well, you're off." Oh my God, you're right. But Nathan over here was like, "Your forearm hair is grease." 
I said shiny. Shiny. How do you spell cedar again? Why didn't I use it? Because I'm fucking stupid. Like a tree? Like a cedar tree? I have pretty good charisma too. Yeah, I was a little confused by that. Oh, she looks at you and she goes, Oh, hello there, darling. What are you doing? Hello. Oh my gosh. I wanted the freaking creature, not a house. Um, I'm going to roll for charisma. Okay. What are you trying to do? I'm going to. How about you tell me what you're trying to do? And I'll tell I'm... you what you're All right. So I'm going to try to fix Nathan's. Uh, fix Noah's mistake. So you're trying to like, like bolster up Noah, be like, hey, 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 hey. he has good. Kind yeah. Of thing. Yeah. So you gotta you gotta say those words. All right. Uh, all right. Don't 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 mind my friend here. Um, he doesn't he doesn't know what he's saying. He's a little. I I do a little wavy finger on in my head on like out at my head. Um. He's, he's, oh, like he's, indicating that he's a little stupid. Yeah. Um. Tell him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just don't 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 mind don't mind him. He he means. He means he means good. Uh, roll persuasion. Okay. Let's, uh... Oh no! Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> I swear! <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, she looks directly at you and she's like, "Hey, you know what, kid? I deal with this every day. Everyone's trying to get some because you know what? I got the best damn satyr legs in this entire place." I'm aware. So how about you go eat your goldfish, your graham crackers, whatever the hell you do, and get out of my sight unless you want. I'm, I'm, and she be like, I'm she sorry. just stares like kitchen knives directly into uh, Noah. Um, I I attempt to. I didn't use charisma yet. I've only used history. I attempt to um, act. I like you know how like when you when you feel bad, you like you like look kind of sad, and you like you apologize. You the fucking puppy dog. <laughs> <laughs> I tried a puppy dogger, but the thing is that I also have this. I have the I have the heart of darkness, which is like they can see that I've been through a lot of pain, and that 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 it gives me like a it makes people want to help me, you know. Oh my god. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, puppy dogging. Yeah. So I'm just I guess I just give you advantage. And then I'm also gonna say I'm sorry. I did. I, I, let me let me say first. I I'm so sorry, ma'am. I I didn't mean to. Is she how, how old does she look? I'm sorry. I don't know. She looks like she's in her uh, like like mid to late twenties. I'm so sorry, Miss. I I didn't mean to offend you or make you sad. Or my my friend here probably is just trying to help me. I I don't even. I'm not even interested in like hitting on you. I just want to get to know you and and get some information. That's it. And then I, I okay. look. I I just kind of like look kind of like I I look I look sad like I messed up like I feel bad. Using information. Uh, normally I I think normally I'd give you disadvantage because she kind of hates you right now. Mm -hmm. You look like a dog. It'll just be a regular persuasion check because she okay. is more inclined to wanting to help you. So persuasion. <clears throat> Roll for persuasion. Oh my oh, god. Finally, Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> she looks at you. She looks back at the glass she's, that she's cleaning, and she takes the glass and she throws it across the bar and smashes it on the wall. And she goes, "Hey, you're fine, kid." I, I don't really. <laughs> but she's like, "Hey, you're fine." I mean, like to be honest, I, it's it's. I deal with a lot. I, I have a stressful job, as you could tell. Yeah, it makes sense that you get mad at us for doing what we did. And every day, there's so many different creatures and monsters that try to get some, and half the time it works, but half the time it's just <laughs> frustrating. That's understandable. Yeah. Uh, but what would you like to know? Um, we, we were told to look for, and I kind of touched my voice a little bit, not, not to be heard by other people. We were told to, we were told to, be, um, to be looking for a ruby of some kind. Do you know what we oh, would no. like that? Uh, yeah, I mean, there are a couple of people here. Um, I'm not, I, again, I just work here, I don't know too much, but I know that, uh, over by the gambling table, there seems to be a guy with a red gem. Uh, I don't quite know, I don't, I don't, I don't really, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I, I just see a guy with a red gem over there, who's your eye, kind of see. Um, yeah, do, I, do, I, do I see who she's talking about? You look over, and there is this, this, like, you can't really make out his features yet, but it's this, like, kind of large, little fat. Uh, kind of just like hulky, bulky, uh, something that you're looking at, and you see like a glimmering ruby kind of shine in the swaying candlelight. Oof. Wait, so it's on? It's like a, a necklace, or what is it? Oh, well, like, like it's kind of. Well, you don't know. You don't see. You haven't even seen facial features. You just see like 
shining of a red ruby across the room, like oh. glimmering off of candlelight. Got it. Um, well, thank you so much. And then I, uh, is there like a menu I could see, or is it? Good? Oh yeah, she's. Uh, you, well, you could ask her for a menu. Yeah, I'll. I'll um, do you have a? I, 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 I can't just give, get information for you without any compensation. So maybe I could buy a drink. Um, oh my. I, I thought I thought you said you weren't interested. No. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh, I'm not. What are it's you not, doing? It's, it's not that I'm not interested. It's just I I'm not I'm I'm not not interested. I'm just not interested. I she I be, looks at the beer nuts and trying to like shut down the conversation. She like scoots the beer nuts close to you and goes to help someone else out. <laughs> Can I see them from performing? You're what? Can I see them from where I'm? Yes, but currently you're like caught in the magic. Okay, never mind. No, but you can see him. Oh, I kind of glare at him, then I go back to thing. Oh, <laughs> uh, you look at him intensely, and then you go back to playing. Out playing. Um... <laughs> I tur I turned to Vel Velvet. Thank you, thank you for trying to save me. It didn't work out that well, but I appreciate the sentiment. Velvet. I know. Oh, I <laughs> you gotta don't, respond to people. Don't, don't do that again, please. <laughs> oh, okay. Are you talking to me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was talking to freaking Jack. Actually, no, um, I was talking to no one. Okay, and then um, Bella, do you see the do you see the ruby over there? We gotta get that. And then is Rum Rumble? Where are you at? Is you are you there? Well, I'm next to you. I'm waiting. Yeah. Rumble, he's been there the whole time. The whole time, just watching us mess up, like being culturally insensitive to fucking satyrs. <laughs> That's supposed to be a bar. That looks awful. I'm sorry. It looks pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no, I thought you were saying that too. Peter. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then do they? Do um, they? They can see the ruby too, right? After I make it out to them. Uh, yeah, you pointed it out, and they notice a glimmer in the. Okay. Um, do you guys, do you guys see that over there? You gotta go get it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, so What's our game you plan? all approach. Yeah, you all go over to the table where it seems gambling. Somewhat inconspicuous, uh, not like making a big deal. Yeah, no, you all walk up. You're not making a big deal. You're just walking over, and you see this large, like large hag, this green-nosed hag, uh, like green everything, like with a big, prominent, like bulky, wide nose. Kind of like clearing over the craps, like clearing over the gambling table, putting her nails into the carpet as she like drags her winnings back in, and she cackles and goes, <laughs> "Come with more." <laughs> okay, where's the ruby at? Uh, she the ruby is currently across her neck, uh, like tightly clamped on with a nice necklace. Uh, so it seems like it might be a bit difficult to take off. Okay, so it's like it's like a clamp, like a like a choker. It's it's well because it's it's clamp. It's it's like a necklace with a strong clasp, and she has like like disgusting hair flowing over her back, kind of holding the back of it. Would it be a disadvantage if I try to use the uh, sleight of hand? Uh, if you do it right away. Oh, sleight of hand is that a action? Just uh, yeah, it's just yeah. It's, it's just um, hand. it wouldn't. It, it depends on the situation. But uh, I'd say maybe try to distract her, convince her I, to get it in some other way. Maybe figure it out. I got a good idea. I, I tried to crumble velvet. Okay, so one of my spells is I can catch my shield on fire, right? But it's, uh, I'm, I think maybe what we could do is we can get close to someone. Who, is it, are people smoking here? It's like a bar, right? They smoke. There's like a smoke pillowing across the area. Okay, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to catch my shield on fire and act like I actually caught on fire. So... And then I'm gonna fall onto the table and be like, "Oh God, I'm on fire!" I'm gonna panic and stuff. And while they're distracted by all the mess, I want you guys to figure out. Uh, we should, we should, we should have a plan for getting the the ruby off of her neck. Uh, Velvet hit her in the head. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can okay. mind spike her. Oh yeah, you can do that too, right? What's but I could probably um, kill her, and I don't. Want to as you're planning this all out, uh, the losers who just lost their money gambling uh, seem to look depressed, and they get up. And they walk out, and the table's empty, and she goes, Is there anyone looking for a game? I'm on a hot streak! <laughs> we could try to gamble. We could try to do that, too. 
I'll yeah, go. You can like win like one or two games, and then we can go all in, all in, and like persuade her. Ooh. I'm, profi the uh, I'm proficient with a deck of cards. If that's what the gambling is. Well, who here's gonna gamble? That might be too. Cause I'm a gambler. I'm not good at gambling, but I I have the ability to I have, be really charismatic, like magically charismatic. Yeah, you can always like poker face. No, but I have an ability that makes me charismatic for ten minutes. Just bluff the whole the whole way through. <laughs> Role part of poker. gambling. Wait, what, what what game does it look like? Is it like poker? Uh, it looks like it's a game with cards, okay. inevitably. But there are also dice. Uh, you can't seem to see what's going on quite yet. Okay. Uh, but if you if you get closer, maybe there might be an explanation. Uh, it just depends if you're interested or not. Uh, while you're doing this, by so would you are like you... to roll for, uh, see if you make any profit off of this so far? Because you're killing it. You cut out, what did you say? Who? Uh, Vinny. Oh, uh, me? <laughs> yeah, would you like to roll for, uh, I'd like you to roll. Uh, I, so you wrote, this isn't, you cut this out. likes to see, okay, I'm gonna leave. Yeah, probably. It's making me do things, guys, I don't like okay. it. So, no, I'd like you to roll a d20 to see how well you're still performing, uh, see if you've made any winnings. Oh, any uh, winnings? Off of entertaining the crowd because you're doing such a great job. Oh fuck me! No, well this isn't bad because you're already doing a great job entertaining. Would it be? Uh, at it just means then? that the best that's going on is that um, that uh, just there's just a bunch of attractive people dancing in front of you. Oh sure, they're more interested in gambling than giving. Yeah, yeah, they're more yeah. interested in losing it for. Yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Everyone here is stingy. Doesn't matter. I'll keep playing. Just stingy assholes. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so, oh, you're gonna keep playing? Yeah, yeah, sure. Understood. Uh, the rest of you, would you be interested in gambling? What's your game plan? I'll gamble. We could gamble, or we can try to deceive her some way. We could do both, maybe. You guys could distract her. Or you, we, we could just do all that and see how it goes. I don't have that much money, though. I know we gamble. Yeah, we can start with gambling, and then kind of, like, play by ear, like, 007 style. All right, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, Vinny, you have no money? Yes, I used it all. Oh, shit. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. Well, well granted, all my money, money... Right? Yeah, all my money that I did have, that was just from guitar and that. So I had no money in the first place. I'm really bad at drawing. <laughs> so, uh, I'm just gonna take a quick sip. All right, 30 second ad. Wait, well, Jack, if yeah, I no. stop... I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> Jack, if I stop playing, will the yeah. crowd get mad at me? Uh, no, I think you entrance them well enough to the fact that they're just happy to have you there. Okay, so can I just leave and join the... Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I do that. Uh, so you decide to mid-song stop playing and walk oh, directly off stage? Oh, it's mid-song? Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I, you can just leave. You can say, you gotta explain what you're doing. You can't just say, I leave. Okay, so, uh, while the song is, like, midway through, uh, I wait till, like, the flute player gets to their solo, and then when that's happening, I stage. I just kind of sneak <laughs> off. Uh, so right as you go off, they start playing, uh, Michael Lovaney on the flute, just... <laughs> just fucking, I can't, nah, my lips. Yes, <laughs> I get it. They play Michael yeah. Lovaney on the flute. Uh, okay. entrancing the crowd even more than anyone ever could have because that oh, is a shit. song of the ages. Um, uh, continuing. Okay. Uh, continuing on. So you all approach the table and she goes, Hi there, you the fat one. You the feeble one. Little princess. And what are you? A, a handsome man with a shield? Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> and she offers she like points at the tables and like uh, looks directly at no and she goes you can sit next to me i wink at her uh and she goes oh <laughs> <laughs> um and uh she's a little flattered but seems to not really understand how to express that without going <laughs> being the dis uh, the terrifying green hag that she is flatter uh, so she goes okay everyone the game is simple it's a gambit. 
Everyone, so just to explain the rules out of voice, everyone rolls 1d8, keeping the die hidden. Each player has the chance to raise the bet, uh, call the bet, need it, or fold. It continues when all bets are equal. Understood? Understood. Okay. How do I hide my die, though? Then each, player rolls, then each player rolls 1d6, keeping it secret as well. A final chance to raise, call, or fold. Each remaining player uh, rolls a 1d4, and they reveal the 1d8, the 1d6, and the 1d4, adding them all together. The winner takes 80% of the pot, the other 20% goes to the casino. And ties split 80%. Alright, let me everybody? grab my dice. How do you fill something? Uh, what? Never mind. So, so how do you hide everyone... your dice? Or hide your does, roll? does everyone have personal dice, or are we all just... I have personal dice. I, I don't know. have personal dice. We do really don't. Does, are we all on the same team? We're like kind of like teaming though, so it doesn't matter if we roll dice. And I'll DM you both your roll dice. I'll DM rolls for you, got it? Okay. So this is all gambling, bluffing, and convincing. Uh, and additional ru rules include, you can make it's... a sleight of hand check to get a re-roll on your die. It's like and that you can one use... game in uh, one 2 switch. And you can also <laughs> use deception to force the fold off of someone. Okay, I am... Um... Before we start the game, I use um, Channel Divinity Emissary uh, um, Emissary of Peace, which increases my charisma plus five. And how long does that last? Ten minutes. Damn, yeah. So your dex so your charisma or your dexterity? Charisma, not dex. Your charisma is bolstered right now. Yeah, so I'm super uh, charismatic. And, uh, and, and then right, uh, right after I do that, I blink again at the, at the witch lady. Uh, you okay? Could you make a roll for uh, I guess performance? Um, what if, can it be? Can it be per, um, deception? Persuasion. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not actually like attracted to. Oh, it. deception! Definitely yes. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, plus plus five. Plus five. Uh, nine. She looks back and she's like, "You're lucky. You've got a nice chin." Um. Yeah. <laughs> um. And. <laughs> <laughs> She still seems a bit interested in you, uh, and she looks at the rest of the table and she goes, Everybody you ready? I'm on a hot streak! Really? Yes! Oh. So, during gambling, can I use this? Huh? Feature? Uh, never tell me the odds. Uh, probability during sound time activities that involves game and chance figure odds, you can get a solid sense of which choice is likely the best one and which opportunities seem to be good. To be true, at the DM's determination. Uh, you can. Is that constant? That's a solid question. The background thing, so yeah. Uh, during downtime activities that involve games or chance of flying odds, you get a solid sense of... Okay, so you get a feeling of what's the right choice. Okay. I'm going to say that you can't have that always, because that might break the whole system. <laughs> yeah, that seems right. But At I least, feel like, like... Every other turn, I don't know. Uh, no, I'll give you like a fair, like... Like, uh, I'll give you like a... Uh, or... Uh, you know? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> that, that's your inner voice is going, eh, this feels alright. <laughs> okay. Um, like just a reminder, here? you can do a sleight of hand sweet. check to get a reroll, and you can use deception to force your uh, opponents to fold. Deception, okay. Yeah. And you're all competing against each other. Wait, can we... Everybody got that? Got yes. it, okay. So... Can you, like, link okay. me the rules? I want to read them. Who's, who's sure going? Who's going? Here, I'll, I'll just throw it in the, uh... Okay, I'm just gonna put the rules into the chat. Oh, alright. Oh, we're doing the Vox Machina game? From Vox Machina? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this podcast. So, I, uh, yeah. uh, I'm, I'm gonna go. Unless someone else is Bye. Gone. No, 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 like, not going like that. <laughs> Just Everyone roll your... Actually, I'm going to roll it. I'm going to roll it for you. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you all... Uh, actually, how do I do this? Because I want to see your secret roll, but I need to no, be able... You know no, what I mean? listen to me. I'm... Okay, this... Okay. Well, okay. I'm, I'm going to roll my die. But... Okay, wait. Just so you know, everyone, please don't cheat. I, I don't cheat. Uh, Joe and the dogs are popping. Oh, yeah, hold on, let me yell at them. <laughs> so, you're, so you actually want us to go through with this plan instead of getting the, the, the ruby immediately? 
Well, I mean, just figure out what you want to do. It's not I'm you what to do. I'm just giving you an opportunity to gamble. How do I roll? Uh, you roll a die. Like in a website? Oh, yeah, you need a secret. You need a secret. I'll roll for you. Yeah, I'll do it. I have a website. Now, what if I were to attack the lady? Uh, you could even start, you could start a fight in the middle of a bar. All right. So, what I wish to do, Jack Heatburn, yes, is I would like to grab uh, grab my die and mm -hmm. start rolling. But okay, I angle the die and use catapult. You're gonna start a fight? <laughs> That's a bad idea. No. Uh, what? Put cat uh, catapults into the fucking table? I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna throw it at the lady who has the ruby. Okay, you take your uh, steel die that you used on the table, uh, and you, you cast catapult at the hag who has done nothing. Has <laughs> she noticed? Because casting takes, like, it has, like, actions, right? Like, you have to, like, make How a long does it take to cast catapult? Catapults immediately, I believe. Oh my god. Is it like, is it, does it require like motions of hands and like voices and stuff? Or like, is it just like in your head? Catapult, here we go. Uh, okay, straight line up to 90 feet. Uh, instant, uh, okay. Choose one object weighing 1 to 5 pounds in the range that isn't being worn or carried. The object flies in a straight line up to 8, 90 feet in the direction of your choice before falling into the ground, stopping early, and makes an impact against all the surface. If the object would strike a creature, the creature must make a dexterity saving throw on a failed save. The object makes, uh, tar uh the, tar the object strikes the target and stops moving. When the object strikes something, the object, uh, oh, the object, no. and what makes it, okay, it's 3d8 bludgeoning. Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, Jared will be right back. Yep. <clears throat> okay. Now we might as well continue. Or should we? Should we wait a second? We can continue, right? After a 30 mean. second ad. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm assuming it's just, uh, the dogs, so. Yeah, we'll be I can see one. Jack. Jack, I can see you. Cool. <laughs> Next time I will play, okay? I will be NPC. I can see Jack. Jack, I can see you. Who's big bad? That's Beal. Oh, it's fucking <laughs> Beal! <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can see me. Wait. Okay. So, Curb, did you want to start a fight with the fucking witch with all her friends around? So, Curb's <laughs> is casting Catapult currently. Well, an ad are happening. Are they actually happening? Yeah. Oh, okay. They I said don't! One second. All right, we I good. said don't! We good. All right. All right. So, grab one revolver. What? <laughs> I couldn't understand you there, buddy. Jared Curves just took attack. the die. No, sorry, Velvet just took the die, the metal die that, that Curves was about to use to roll, and is now catapulting it at the hag's forehead. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Let me pull up the hag stats. I was just, I was just reading all the rules and then now we're not playing the game. I'm gonna say, wow. I'm saying you're attacking with a oh no, not advantage. It's a wildly bar that I explained earlier. You're just gonna attack. You're just gonna roll the hit. All right. Okay. Uh, oh no 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 wait wait. What, what, if, what, if, what if she's so infatuated with me she doesn't notice the, the dice coming? Well, she's currently explaining the rules. <laughs> Why do I have 16 viewers? <laughs> I just because you're an asshole who attacks people for no reason. Continuing so, you now take the metal die in this perfectly safe bar environment and attempt to split the hag's skull. <laughs> oh my god. The hag is going to make a dexterity saving throw against your spell save DC of 15. Jesus Christ. Well, bye hag, your head's gone. Jeez. Wait, Grumble, how close how close is how close is Grumble to the hag? Oh, oh no. No. <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Okay, I gotta read your stats for this. Oh my how, god. How much damage though? Uh, so I deal That was a critical that was a critical miss dodge. I think you deal double damage. It was a critical un unhit. Okay, well there's one. There's two. And there's three. Okay. No no no, you're rolling you're rolling wrong. Am I, not, am I rolling wrong? Oh! Could you? Oh! Yeah. Okay, yeah. You just click on the. You just click on catapult. That's even worse. Wow. 
Oh, that's, no, that's better. better. That's better. That's you rolled two ones and an eight. That's two eights and a one. I don't want to kill the lady. I just wanted to knock her out. Oh my god. Too bad she's dead. So I fucking slaughtered her. Anyone can help me in the fucking chat. I think so. She got a critical miss. So I think you rolled double damage. I. Oh. Is that not true? No. Don't roll. Don't. No. Sh don't. It just definitely hits. Is that I all? Think it, I think it just hits, and then she probably. I guess like you could add small effects, like she might get knocked out or something. But yeah, I, you're right. Uh, so you you take the metal D8. Remember that D8 is pointed, oh, and God. you use okay. catapult. And with how much damage did you deal? Seventeen. Permanent brain damage. Permanent brain <laughs> damage. <laughs> Oh my god. Everybody else to roll some my damage since it's D3. You're actually a horrible person. Let me get out on the page of the monster that's in here. Man, and, and I thought that, that Velvet was like the person who doesn't want to kill people, doesn't want to hurt Velvet, anyone. you're evil. Velvet's the fucking monster that just slaughtered the one old lady. <laughs> <laughs> actually a terrible person. And um, I was so... <laughs> so, okay. Uh, let me just quickly get all the stats out. Do, 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 do. That's its health. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. That's its armor class. You just bolted it. Um. You fuck. Fuck. <laughs> Did he seriously just JFK the dice lady? <laughs> Are you kidding me? No, 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 no. So I gotta, I gotta read this so I can understand how to fight with her. The old dice lady just fucking exploded. <laughs> oh my god. Her head popped like a balloon. <laughs> <laughs> the D8 goes straight through her brain. She looks at you and just falls face first from the table. Have you all roll initiative? But yeah, she, so basically, uh, while explaining these rules nicely, looking forward to gambling because it's one of her yes. favorite pastimes, no, you decide to bolt a, a, a not yet. Well, I mean, you could use those rules, but uh, you decide to take the metal die that you were going to use to have fun with this lovely hag, and then bolt it directly into her forehead, lodging in. You dealt 17 damage to the hag. Jesus Christ. You fucking monster. I, <laughs> I immediately get up and grab the ruby from, from her. Well, actually, everyone's about to roll initiative. Everyone? Oh, great. I'm in two. Oh, oh great. I did not want to start a battle. I just wanted to grab it and go. Is she still no, you yeah. used catapult! Is she, still, <laughs> is she still conscious though, Jack? <laughs> she's conscious! She's a little, like, confused right now. But she she's, knocked she's, out. She's, she did not get knocked out. You just fucking bolted her with a fucking <laughs> pebble. Um, okay, so in order, it is... Noah. Then it is... Velvet. Then it is... Brumbled. Hey right, fellas, we got 30 is. minutes to end this. <laughs> well, I didn't expect it to be a fucking fight. Uh, Groovy. <laughs> I had a whole fucking gambling encounter! It's all gone! Anyways! It's okay, this... This... <laughs> Dude, I'm gonna slot... Wait, okay. <sighs> okay, so the fight is now initiated. The entire bar kind of notices, and the music plays even louder. The satyrs start, like, smashing glasses on the floor, and everyone else is fighting and enjoying the bloodshed. Oh, uh, the, uh, bar, the cute, oh, the cute satyr bartender actually pulls out, like, a stick and starts clubbing people on the head uh, who walk by her area just for fun. <laughs> uh, just because it's part of the fun. Next in the turn order, so Noah, what would you like to do? Uh, can I? How, what does she? What does the? What does she look like right now? Like, like how bad? She's a green the... hag with a D8 implanted in her forehead. There's blood trickling down her forehead into her eyes, but she seems to just see that as something to make her more enraged. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm gonna use my shield master thing. Where if I take it, I'm gonna I'm gonna attack her this turn. But before I do that, I'm gonna shove her with my shield. So that the yes. uh. It would be her. What would it be? It'd be her, her dex slash athletics, I think, versus my strength. Oh, uh, dexterity or uh, athletics? Yes. Yeah. So she. Oh, remember she's a she's a big one. Uh, yeah. so yeah, uh, roll to hit. Wait, do I do well. do I do athletics or strength? I forgot. Uh, you do uh athletics is strength. It's shove action. Uh, let me see. I think I have it. In athletics is strength. Athletics is a strength check. 
So I do athletics? Okay, I'll do athletics. Athletics is a strength check. It's combated by her athletics or her dex, uh, or her acrobatics. Oh my god. Is this um, at advantage because she's like totally bludgeoned and like confused? Uh, no, she's kind of like a little, well, she is a little confused, but I mean, even, okay, yeah, even with advantage, it doesn't even hit. Okay, that's not a problem. Um, oh, is Curbs leaving too? Be right back. Okay. One second, everybody. Sorry. It should be fine. Like, wait, wait, whose turn is it right now? It's your turn. The the, the attack is about oh, to Oh, yeah. I, sh I missed my shove, <laughs> and then I, uh. So, let me tell you. Uh, you attempt to shove the hag, but she just puts her forearm like up on the table, like fist in the air, and blocks your shield with her mere strength alone, not even moving an inch. Uh, and she looks very angry and looks directly into your eyes and goes, Why did you ruin this, cutums? <laughs> I reply, I didn't want to do this. <laughs> uh, next in the turn order is Velvet. Wait, 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 that was a bonus action. That was a bonus action. That was a bonus action? Yeah. Oh. Uh, for my for my action, I'm gonna take an attack with my net. Okay, you're gonna you fucking net her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna net her. <laughs> that's that's what a net does. Oh my god. I'm playing with idiots. <laughs> um, so let me read. A net has no effect on creatures that are forced. Okay. A creature can use this action to make a DC 10 strength check. Uh, freeing itself or another. Okay. Are you kidding me, Nathan? I'm netting her. <laughs> <laughs> so, you throw one of your nets, and while her forearm's still on the table, she raises her other arm and just uses her claws to break it midair right before it lands on her. And she goes, oh, she has an AC higher You're than fun! An what? AC higher than 16? What the fuck? Yes, she is a big hag. Oh my god. Who race is she? She Wait, is she... a hag. She's bigger than what? Hag is race. <laughs> she is a green hag. Don't look up her stats. Okay. <laughs> green hag stat. Nathan, don't. I'm, I, I'm not. I don't, I don't have the internet. No. Next in the turn order is Velvet. So. <laughs> kind of sucks that oh, you'd start wait. a fight and then immediately not fucking. Wait, I could, I could use net as a reaction? Oh shit, that's good. <laughs> How many nets do you have? I have, uh, I should have three. Okay, well, one of them is down, because you just but tore it. I bought one, I bought two more at the shop, so I have five now. Oh my god, why do you keep on buying nets? <laughs> <laughs> one of your nets is now torn by the hag. So now I have and four nets. Does anybody have a way of contacting Jamie? That was kind of a bad time to leave right at the end. Um, uh, it was... Was Jamie next in the Dude, Do I have Jamie's phone yep. number? Let me look. I probably do. Wait, can't we just do like Steven and J and then and then if Jamie comes back before the, the hag's turn, it's fine? Don't. Or what? I mean, I just rather keep to the initiative if Jamie. Why, why is it missing? I had such a good plan in my head of what I wanted to do. I know. I was so excited for the <laughs> I, got, I gave you guys a really cool gambling encounter. One of you is an actual gambler. Yeah. yeah. I, I, yeah. I, I it was going to be a perfect fun. fun interactive encounter, and now uh, one of your teammates decides to have bolted a metal object into the skull of. <laughs> hey, hey, I was just <laughs> expecting to run away with it, okay? Curbs, it's your turn. Curbs, we can't hear you. Your mic cut out. Oh, yeah, hi. Um, I, you know what? You're next to the turn order, buddy. I know, I know. <laughs> uh. My net attack mix miss somehow. I'm gonna, you, you know what? I think I'm just gonna go grab the the ruby and just like dip out of there, you know. That is on her neck. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a metal, it's a metal neck, like it's like, it's like Joker. Crap, she's not knocked out. I can't. Make a slide of hands I check can't. with disadvantage. No, I can't. Crap. Yeah, there's no what way. What do I do? I have okay. Not right. start a fight. <laughs> well, that's what that's what I did. All right, and you know what? Just magic missile the bitch already. <laughs> <laughs> You're running out of spell slots. I am. It's true. Oh, crap, what can I do? Color spray? That won't do much. Uh, she's I... got plenty of health. She's very fine. Kind of just started the fight. Could... Oh, could I do suggestion? Let me see. 
you going to suggest her to do something after you just bolted her forehead? Yeah. Give me the ruby. I can't. The ruby. I can't do anything. Give me the ruby. <laughs> A cantrip or something? I don't have a good cantrip. All I have is pre uh, prestidigitation. The <gasps> mage hand. I the mage hand won't do shit. <laughs> Why not? She will see the mage hand. Yeah. <laughs> it's about that fast. <laughs> oh, my oh my gosh! You know what? I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use jump. You're gonna jump in a bed? <laughs> Uh okay, so are there like lights hanging from the ceiling? Yes! It's a yes, there okay. are. There are okay. lights hanging. Alright. I'm gonna I'm gonna use my I'm gonna use my spell slot and jump. Alright. I have yeah. I think I have one you more after this. Jump. No, I have I have zero spell slots after this. But um, and you're casting jump. <laughs> you know what? You're not gonna no, engage no. and fight. No, you're you a know. little shitty princess. <laughs> Can someone give you make you evil? Chaotic neutral. You dude. are I not chaotic myself. neutral. I benefit myself. I am. Yeah, I benefit myself. You just tried to kill someone. Yeah, for my own benefit. That is not me. <laughs> <laughs> That's chaotic, like. That's just chaotic. I don't know what that is. <laughs> hey, I had it's a good idea. Rude as fuck. But, okay, just do your action. Do whatever you okay, want. Okay, all right. Stop, stop telling people what to do. Just do it. All right, I use expeditious retreat to leave. Yeah. <laughs> just, do just do it. Just do it. Okay. You cast expeditious retreat. Reading. The spell allows you to move at an incredible pace when you cast the spell, and then as a bonus action on each of your turns, you can take the dash action. Last ten minutes. So at the end of every turn, you can make. You, wait, wait. So when you cast a spell, and then as a bonus action on each. So when you cast a spell, you can make a dash action, and as a bonus action on each of your turns, you could dash. All right. Okay. That's uh. That's, that's what I do. Cool. Are you gonna dash? I am gonna dash. Communicate that. I I'm gonna dash away. Oh god, that's like six. All right, you br you blister through the crowd after enraging the hat. And making all of your friends fight a big monster. You are a horrible person. <laughs> Next in the turn order is Grumbled. What do you do? Uh, man, I don't want to be a part of this fight, <laughs> but I feel like we're here for a goal, so maybe I just want to apologize to the old hag and try to use Slate of Pants. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you approach her and uh, just communicate your. Say that again. Communicate your apology to her. Hey, I just wanted to gamble, um, but we are here for something, and that something is your necklace. Uh, I didn't even tell you what to roll yet, but that's true. Fuck. I'm sorry. Okay, he said, well, he no. said, you did say sleight of hand. You said sleight of hand. I was gonna say sleight of hand with disadvantage. It is. It's a strong necklace. I've been communicating that since minute. It's true, you have. Yeah. Okay, so you got the fourteen against her passive perception, which is equal to ten plus what? Hello. Um, I don't know. That's, that that's, that's, that's active perception. That's just perception. Yeah. <laughs> that's just perception. <laughs> you guys are so stupid. Uh. Okay. Yeah. Plus her. Oh wait. Oh, she has a plus four in perception. Oh shit! Um, what you gonna roll? What you gonna roll? Oh, two, two, oh, two. Yeah. Fuck. So, <laughs> as you try to swipe the necklace from her, she grabs your arm, slaps away, and goes, "What the fuck?" <laughs> oh <my laughs> like, I just been here. I'm having a good time. Uh. Oh, would you like to do any bonus action? Oh my god. Uh, is he gonna run away too? <laughs> no, I shouldn't run. You can hide behind me if you want. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh... What was it called again? Fuck. Nimble Escape? Nimble yeah, Escape. Yeah. Nimble Escape. Uh, you decide to jump over the table and hide right behind your throne on top of a moving lady. 
Jack, you're cutting out. Yeah, you might need to rejoin. Yeah. Yeah, you nimbly escape behind your friend with a big shield. Next in the turn order is the green hag. <laughs> what does she do? Uh, she has a lot of options. Ooh. So we're all gonna uh, fucking die to a fucking fireball now. That is a possibility. Um. Let me just quickly well, I'm not with you guys. I'm just sitting at the other end of the table yeah, watching still this happen. Down, you joined. You joined. <laughs> still sitting down at the table. No, you, just like... you joined, you joined. Yeah, I know, but I'm sitting like across from them. And tap it. Oh, yeah, you haven't engaged in the fight yet. Uh, the green hag is actually going to try to dig her claws directly into you, Nathan. Or Noah. How do reactions work? Do I react after I get hit, or do I react before Depends I get hit? Depends on what the reaction is. I want to throw my net on her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So did the net wait, did the net originally take a reaction? It says uh, bonus action or reaction to attack with the net. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah. You get another reaction. But I, I mean, did, is that? I I don't know if that's a reaction to her moving to attack you or if that's a reaction to what. I'll I'll just switch up a reaction. No, yeah, react. It's a it, reaction depends on what it is. Can I? I'll, I'll take. I'll, it, would, it would make sure I take. I, I just. It's in the chest. Um, so in response to her attacking you, you throw out your net. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. Okay. So she, you throw out your net. Roll for throwing out net. Okay. Net. Did it work? You rolled a nat one. Oh fuck. Oh my god, you're really bad with that. You throw your net and she immediately slashes it in mid attack for trying to hit you, and now you're a little stumbled back. Uh, oh, now no. she's gonna roll the hit. Your AC is 18? <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Um, so. Oh my god. Uh, so while attacking you, she cuts through your net and immediately looks you directly into the eyes and just digs her claws right into your shoulders. Oh. Uh, both hands. And that is going to be 2d8 plus 4. God, this hag's a bitch. She's going to deal 15 she damage directly bitch. to you. She is not! <laughs> <laughs> She's going to deal 15 damage by cutting directly into your shoulders. We need to go a bit oh, faster. We're no. running out of time. Holy shit, 15 I can damage. I can't fight, fight like right, right now. Oh my god. Okay, well, next in the turn order is Vinny. Okay, I'm casting Crown of Madness on her. Crown of Madness? Don't you have like disadvantage on certain? Th how do you? How does the casting work? No, I just look at her and then I say, "I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna cast Crown of Madness." Crown of Madness. One human of your choice to see within range must succeed on a Wisdom saving throw or become charmed. So your spell save DC is 14. She's gonna make a Wisdom saving throw. Yes. 14. Don't roll 14. She rolls a two plus yeah. her Wisdom, which is okay. Yeah. Uh, the crown of madness immediately after she digs into your friend's shoulders, the crown stretches across her forehead, iron clasping in, and it all wraps around the D8 that is currently in the middle of her forehead, still leaking blood, uh, and it just completely grasps her. Perfect. Uh, she is now enthralled by crown of madness. Guys, don't worry, I got this. <laughs> and then I take out my flask with the with the mushroom people beer in it. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and as a bonus action, are you gonna make her drink it? <laughs> Wait, hold on, from my bonus action, can I make her take off the necklace and give uh, it to someone? I, okay, let me read it. A uh, Crown of Madness, the charm target must use its action before moving on, uh, must use its action before moving on each of its turns to make a melee weapon attack against a creep. You don't have control over it. You gave it madness. You didn't give it obey your commands. You gave it madness. Okay, fine. I give her the flask to make her drink it. <laughs> she is going to make melee attacks. She isn't following your command. She's following your aggressive command. She oh. needs to attack something. Well, she, oh, could that's technically, she technically can't attack Jared, though, right? Melee attack against a creature other than itself that you you mentally choose. The target must act normally on its turns. If you choose no creature, then none are with the... Uh, if you choose... Oh, wait. The target can act normally on its turns if you choose no creature, if none are within its reach. Okay. It sounds like Berserk yeah. in like Final Fantasy. You made her go ape shit. <laughs> <laughs> Those are like... horrible people. Um, <laughs> okay. Continuing with this fight. So yeah, now you're kind of mad this turn. Okay, Noah, you're next in the line. Two of your nets are torn. 
damn it. I better use another one. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, go for it, dude. Um, I think since she's charmed, I'm gonna try and like grab the necklace and just rip it off. Like, like grab, You're grab, do what, 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 grab what, and rip off the necklace. Yeah. While she is currently in a, a bolstered, enraged state. I think she's confused, so I should. I, I'm I'm coordinated, so I should be able she to just not grab confused. it. She well, is she's actually filled. She's filled with madness. Wait, it, I she thought. Completely enthralled with anger. Okay, then. <laughs> fuck. Then I'm just gonna try to shove her. Okay. <laughs> We're gonna shove I'm her. going to shove her. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No. Roll the shove. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> roll Let's go. That puts her on the Athletics ground. versus uh, her strength, which is okay. Cool. You shove her. <laughs> now, now she should be prone. You blast her shield into her, and now she's on her back. Hard, hard to get up because of how large and grotesque she is, and she goes, ah! <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna... Okay, wait, if I if I were to attempt to pull the necklace off of her when she's prone, is that, at a, is that like, a neutral thing, or... I guess that you'd have advantage. It's, it's it's the necklace that has the strength now. So it's just, it's just the necklace and she has no awareness of it because she's prone, right? You're just gonna have to try to rip the necklace off of her. She has okay. awareness, but she's not really able to do shit because she's trying to get back up. Okay, what what uh, what check do I use to rip off the necklace? Uh, strength. Strength or athletics? Strength. Not athletics? Is it athletic to rip something off of something? It's a pulling action, like you, like you would be at the gym. You just roll strength, and Ethan, please, you don't have Nathan, time. You're rolling strength. Just quit oh arguing. God. I got plus five. Got strength, Dave. Oh, super. It's just roll and add your strength. I guess that's the same number, but still, it's different. Strength. Okay, you got a twelve. You just barely rip the necklace off of her, cutting into the back, and like, and the red gem is now within your hands, still encased by metal. Uh from the necklace that seems to be kind of blocking it. Do I, am I able to just toss it to Grumbolt? You already kind of used a lot of your actions, buddy. Okay. Oh, so uh, no, boy, I guess activating a lever. Yeah, no, you could toss it. I'll just quick toss to Grumbolt. Okay. You quickly toss it to Grumbolt, and, uh... How, I mean, yeah, sure, Grumbolt catches it. You, like, come right behind me. I'm gonna just put a necklace in my inventory? Or <laughs> neck? Okay. So, could you actually roll a d20? Me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow, okay, there you go, great! Encounter over! Um, so, <laughs> when you touch the- you touch- you touch the gem, and all of a sudden, the entire ball- the, the entire bar falls apart around you. Every single creature that was already in there phases back out as if clouds were puddling out from underneath it. And a bunch of like little sprites seem to be flying away away from where people once were. And now the forest, uh, now in now the forest seems to have different light upon it, more of like a calming velvet uh, color. Um, yeah, you got the gem. You beat the tavern. <laughs> wait, wait, are they all, are they all gone? All the people gone? Yes, they were all they were all fake. They were all illusions. I wanted to hear them. I wanted to talk to the satyr. Yeah, well, you fucking shouldn't have started a fight. I mean, I gave you an, an NPC encounter. <laughs> you just decimated the whole thing. You're going to have to like, gamble and swindle her into giving her a little less murder hobo, okay? Control yourselves, people. That's not um, what I, I just want to knock her out and then go. That's not what I want. What? You, you should have communicated with your party. Um, <laughs> okay, I put my flask Jack, back. Jack, think about it like this. Think about the, a kid who thinks, oh yeah, this dice will totally knock out the lady when actually he's shooting a fucking gun at her. Okay? <laughs> that, that's what actually happens. 3d8. <laughs> you knock someone out with a club, which is uh, like our uh, average 1d8 or 1d10. 3d8 with a sharp metal dot. Can we just roll a dice to see if Beal comes? <laughs> no. Yeah, that's disgusting. Yeah. yeah. It's 13. Is, it, does, is, that, is that enough, Jack? It's preemptive and disappointing. No, no, here, let, here, let me try. Let me try. No, we're not Messy. doing this right now. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> let's wrap up. Everyone, share your links. Exactly. Yeah, wait, oh, oh no, Beal does not get you. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> That's That's natural one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The bar, the bar dissipates. Everything ends, and then the knight goes up to you and goes, "Wow, a little unconventional. Um, I was expecting something a bit more polite, but uh, 
I guess you all are very eager to fight. Um, the next the next challenge is this way. Key points over, uh, the path opens up, and it uh, a new light enters, and you get back to the cart in order to go there, and the day is over. Uh, now we are done. My character looks over at, at Velvet. Very angry. Very angry. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, like okay, staggered. I just meant to knock the lady out. I didn't mean for a You didn't even apologize. Fight. You did you know what you did? You fucking ran away. <laughs> Jack, you're not a character, okay? You're not a character. We're talking, okay? I'm not. I'm just saying. Velvet, do you know how much do you know how hurt I am? That that lady almost killed me. I'm I'm sorry, Noah. I don't I didn't bring mean... us down to your level. I I don't kill people, Velvet. You basically you basically threw. I didn't a mean for that to happen. One hundred miles an hour at that lady's fucking head. Uh, could you make a uh, persuasion check, Velvet? No. Okay. Saying that you didn't mean for that to happen. All right. So let me let me pull that out real quick. You see if we all believe in your bullshit. <laughs> yeah, that's perception. I... Persuasion. Oh shit. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> god uh, so Velvet seems to be very convincing that it really honest mistake. Uh, Velvet didn't mean to start that entire bar fight, uh, and she had other intentions. Okay, I'll let it slide. I, I was gonna poison her, so I mean. What a... <laughs> I'm doing poison her with the mushroom tree. Oh, that's not a bad idea. That would be fun. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I was gonna like, like just use the sky self and go to a barmaid or something. Oh, yeah, cause like I have that psychedelic dream too. Yeah, exactly. Hi everybody. Uh, that was a, that was a uh, that was a successful session. Okay, uh, starting off with that vine encounter, I think that. Was to the bar, and that went interestingly. <laughs> I think that was, that was a fun session. <laughs> okay, everyone, share your links. We'll start with Curves, bottom. Hi, hi everybody, bottom. I'm Curves Jam, aka Jamie. Hi. Um, I have, I'm, I'm a gamer, this is my channel. Uh, I do art. Actually, I actually have commissions open if you want to commission me for stuff. Ooh, uh -huh. Um... Here is my card where you can find everything about me, uh, including my everything. And this is my channel, so thank thank you guys for stopping by. Um, also, yeah. people in chat, these are these are the emotes Curbs made for me. You guys can get some if you commission. Yeah, them, actually, please. emotes are in the other section in my commission sheet. So, yeah. Uh, sub Steven from Sub Parkade. Hi, I'm Steven from Slip Arcade. I'm one of two co-hosts. Me and Laney love to play games. Anyway, I'm just the editor, commentator, uh, artist for it. We also stream. But you can find the videos here. And you can find streams here. And I don't give a fuck if you follow me on Twitter. I don't... It's just drunken nonsense anyway. Great Twitter. I try to be funny and never learn. My whole fucking life. <laughs> uh, Jared, Nathan. Jared. What? Jared, your turn. Oh, it's my turn. It's you Jared. already know who I am. I'm just gonna drop the links. I'm just gonna drop them like three times. That's my Twitch. That's my Twitch. Just follow it. You already know. Nathan. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, next. A, uh, N... <laughs> Uh, Twitch.tv slash Envoy Gaming. Uh, I'm trying to get YouTube videos out more. Uh, but we see what the, how that goes. 10 hour Pataroo stream up on YouTube right now. If you're interested in watching 10 hours of Pataroo. Yeah, that was a <laughs> I actually saw movie. that, and that's hell. I yeah, watched don't two watch that. I was like, fuck this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, and uh, that's really it. Also, um, I'm hosting a tournament next Saturday, I think. Ooh. So oh, check you in are. Later. And I'm streaming next. I'm streaming after this. And I think we should note that these streams will be on your YouTube, right, Enboy? Yeah, they're gonna. Yeah, these these uh these vods are gonna be on. So make sure you send me the vods. Oh, we also have a Twitter account. We do. 
for D and D. Let me get that for you, y'all. Here's my YouTube. Uh, links in chat. Someone copy and paste. I don't. <laughs> Tweet, stream open. us, and like us. Uh, everybody, hi. Uh, my name is Jack Michelle, and I am the DM of this podcast that we just had. Uh, I the name of it is Out of Hand. Uh, thank you all so much for joining us. I think we had a fun session, just a generally good time. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all again next time. I think that uh, chat interaction was kind of nice this time. Uh, there's my Twitter right there. Feel free to follow me. It's actually right below me. If you see my name, that, that's literally my handle. Yeah, I got my own name because I got a weird last name. Uh, I want to be funny. I don't know. I guess that's my, what my Twitter is. Have a good one. Good try, <laughs>